something before <laughs> it's okay? Pretty sure. I will stay behind for a day. In that fucking place? What about the cervezas? Life cannot always be about what you want. Fuck you, dude! Isn't this the bunker? Oh, I had to kill those guys first. Okay. Open, 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 open. Open. What's wrong? Open! No, don't load! It's the same button! Fuck! Yes, I locked the bunker door. Can you open it? Sure. I can try. But it will take time. And I can walk up with it. Not sure they're really what we're doing right now. Oh, fuck! Damn, that was a good throw, dude. I didn't even mean to do that. I didn't even mean to do that. I threw a fucking grenade out the window and blew that thing up. Did you see that fucking cougar we hit? Or that leopard? Where'd it go? Fucking tank going by. Oh shit, what's this road? Yeah, oh shit, it's our road! <laughs> it looked like a road. You know, I can't tell what's worse. You or you're shooting. Your guess is as good as mine.
seems we were having technical difficulties. Please stay tuned for the show to start. Am I doing any damage to this fucking thing? Fuck me, dude! Oh my god! <laughs> oh fuck me, dude! What the fuck? I know I'm fucking stuck! Oh god, there's fucking feet! You guys see the feet? I'm freaked out already. I'll look out, I'll freak out already. No way, can we fucking do it? Bring the shit out of him! Kick the uh, hello! Ah! Fuck! God damn it! Fuck! God damn it, dude! Don't tell me to the whole fucking thing over again. What is happening, Calpo? How's it going out there? Hope they were down a fantastic Friday. Friday, Friday, Friday. We're pushing on the chair, dude. Fantastic. How's everybody doing? Hope you guys are doing good. Oh, yeah, look at this. See, it's working. Nice. I missed who it was. I need to make that. I need to put a chat thing on there as well. Shit, you know what? This is the only whole one we have left. I just went to the goddamn pet store too. I should have bought some more. I have other treats. Good boy. But no more of those almost. Dan, thank you for jumping in. Um, Mio, today is no game dev. Um, it's a DRB stream. We're gonna be playing some Dakota River Bend. Our uh, Red M server that we also dev at. Um, it is a dev Q and A. Uh, if you have any questions about dev work uh, or questions about the DRB, you can pop it in and say hey. You don't think you hear the Coda sound? If there is one, you didn't hear the it, during this time that the this audio might be too loud to hear it. Um, but we'll test that because when this stops, okay. Although, oh, I have this turned down on my end, but I'm pretty sure this song is pretty loud for you guys, right? It's not, Marcus. It's not, man. Live or you die! The main YouTube channel has been, uh, has been hacked for a week now, um, so uh, we haven't been streaming on it. Uh, during dev streams, we do always stream on DRB Studios as well. Um, the only stream we won't be streaming on DRB studios is on Sunday. Sunday is our Austin BMX mainstream. Um, and since that's only Austin BMX, uh, we won't put it on DRB studios. You'll have to go, you have to see that on Twitch until I get my other channel back, which I hope is soon. Um, it's been a week now and they, they keep telling me that they have the, they're looking into it. Yeah, my, my main channel got hacked, and I lost access to stream to it. Um, but let's see. If I do... Listen, listen to this. Oh, I can't even do it? I can't even do it. I thought I could uh, override it. I saw you had limited access on it. Yep, yep, yep. I'm, uh, yeah, it's weird. I, I was, I was fully locked out, um, but a couple of days ago, all of a sudden, I'm, I'm able to go to my studio, my YouTube studio, on my browser that I already use, right? So I'm able to look at videos. I could upload probably. Um, I could even post. I can reply to comments, all that stuff, right? I can't broadcast though because the broadcast comes from a a different area 
that has to be logged into it and, th and that that i can see right here that that connection is broke so i can't get that connection back um until they fix it sucks i'll set outside for seven minutes to see if you yeah it should be it should be just like this In BMX underscore you says Dakota wants a treat. Did you hear that? Or was that is that is that really really low? It's it's loud enough for me to hear it. Can you guys hear that stuff? It's a little quiet, but we hear it. It's low. I should turn all those up then. I should turn those up. Let me go see if I can just turn them up in. Let me see if that has audio functionality. The volumes, oh, the volume says 100%, but let me just, and that's as high as I can go on the slider. Let me put 200 there. Because I found out there's a slider, and the slider only goes to 100, but I can type anything I want. So let me try 200. And now we'll see if it's loud as shit. Uh, Now there's no sound. I saw it say it. Now nothing happened. Are you streaming on fucking Facebook? Yeah, I stream on everything, man. YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, uh, and Twitter. I stream on everything. Why not, right? Speaking of that, thank you for reminding me. I need to go uh, share my stream so my friends and family see it oh actually my daughter's here right now hey sweetie should be doing home geometry but i got my firehouse Ooh, in an hour cool everybody in chat tell michaela good luck she's uh got an interview for a job at my favorite sub place in an hour everybody in chat give michaela good luck Hey, Trooper Dead Dog, how's it going, man? Meta State for jumping in? I think I actually broke it, broke it now, though. Because now I didn't hear nothing. So I can type 200, but that must break it. <laughs> uh, which means... Oh, it's, it's at zero. It's at zero. 200. Enter. Okay. Now let's try it. I don't hear a change at all, right? Did you guys hear a change? Now, it's probably going through a different audio for you than me. Did you guys hear that at all? Didn't hear it at all. What the fuck, dude? Nothing. You guys didn't hear nothing? I mean, I heard something. Here, let's turn down music. Okay, so it's just me. No other sounds. Here we go. Are we ready? Austin BMX underscore you says hello Okay, so that I'm 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 watching some audio, okay? I'm watching audio. You guys can hang out with me for a second. We'll figure it out. I am watching audio. Watching audio. Anytime anybody always has an audio problem with stream, including like uh Grammy, gaming Grammy always contacts me because she always messes with stuff grammy if you're watching and we have to work on audio and i always tell her the best thing to do with the audio is 
visually see it, right? So I just visually saw that, yeah, that was barely working. So give me a minute to figure out where that's coming through and I can try to update that, okay? FSD, 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 Found it. Found the channel that's controlling it right there. Did you guys hear it now? Austin BMX underscore you says, how is this now? Now it fucking works. We found the channel. I found the channel. All right, let's put music back on. There we go. Yep, I turned the channel down for some reason. I must have I must use that channel for something else, and I had to turn it down for some reason. Now it's way better. Now it's way better. Nice. See? I got you. We work we're we're a great team, you know? We're a great team. Fixed it. Look at that. It's fantastic. I love to see it, man. You love to see it. All right. Like I said, we're going to be playing some DRB today. Uh, running around his fiddle pot. Getting in some uh, things. Just playing good old Red Dead. Um, we also open this stream up uh, once a week for uh, DRB dev chat as well. So uh, during this stream, usually... I'm always chatting. We'll chat about stuff that we enjoy about the server, stuff that we uh, we always run into stuff that we want to see change, and we chat about that. We might even talk about things that we want to eventually work on in the future as well. So that's always a good, fun thing to do. Oh, my freaking back hurts today. If you are a part of the server or not, and you have any questions or concerns or suggestions, dev-wise... Right, we don't talk anything about any admin stuff because, to be honest, I don't even deal with that part of the server. We have an amazing team, staff, and uh, people that lead the, all that, you know. So, we usually don't talk too much about that stuff, you know. Um, it's more dev stuff uh, that we that we have direct stuff to. Yo, now my brother's in chat. What's up, bud? What's up, bro? How's it going, man? What's happening? Thanks for jumping on, man. Did you check different mic volumes on live scene? I didn't. I haven't checked that yet, guys, and I have no idea why that's, that's zooming. I did it. If I have time tomorrow, I'll do it. Um, or maybe later, 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 later tonight, I'll be able to look into it. Um, but uh, yeah, that's that one's got me stumped to even try to figure out what's causing that. Doing good, just working. Same here, man. Same here. Next time I'm down in Salem, I gotta at least give you a heads up, man, so I can so we can I could say we could say hey, uh, I was down a couple weeks ago and went by and uh, and uh, saw Dad and stuff for a little while. Um, but I just came down for a little bit to go see Michaela's concert. Oh. I I, I want to try to get down next month at least once for like a Saturday or something to, to see the kids and stuff and and hang out. So maybe we can get together then, man. Be good. Or you can come up here. When's, your, when's the next time you're coming up here? Tribute Day Dogs says, stay swole. I got one of those emotes. I don't, I can't type it here. I got, I got to make some emote buttons so I could emote Twitch. I got a button like that. I got an emote like that. Of course, mine's fake. I mean, that one's actually real. <laughs> Not sure. No worries then, man. No worries. I get it. I get it. Everyone's always busy. As am I. As am I. As it looks like I am right now, right? If you're busy. Yes, and as Scuzz said earlier, there were a lot of uh, pony shout-outs because uh, I was getting some buttons working again, so I have some access to do some shout-outs myself with some button situations. Um, again, if you guys are part of DRB, make sure to check out the DRB stream team. 
um, and uh, find some awesome content creators and RPers over there. Yeah. Her mom might be moving down there. Oh shit! Oh well, you're never coming back up here, huh? I see how it is. I see how it is. Let's try to get. Let's try to get Red Dead open at least. We got about three hours, no, two and a half hours of gameplay, and then the server restarts, and then we'll we're gonna continue playing after that as well. Uh, we will be playing for about the next four hours or so. Um. That's weird. I'm getting some weird... I was just in Red Dead earlier. Now it's giving me some firewall things? The fuck? I was literally in Red Dead earlier. Was that a... Was that a McFall I saw a second ago? Rob, what's going on, man? Thanks for hanging out. Popping in and saying hey. Um, Hope you're doing well, man. We got to get out and do some riding this summer at least once together somewhere. Maybe, maybe maybe me and Nick can come up to the North Bend Bike Park or something for a day. Just ride. Um, got to give me a minute, though. I can't see anybody right now because I forgot to move. I forgot to move my game um, to my lower monitor. I guess I could do this for the time being real quick for a few minutes. Uh, we will... Do I have game working right now? I don't even have game working. I don't even have the damn game set up. I have a dog that is really annoying right now. That's what I have. Uh, game capture source. Um, Red M. Is that going to work? Come on. Come on. Don't be like that. Why is this not working? It should. Red M. Red M is so terrible at... Oh, it's not even loaded yet. I'm still connecting. It, I should actually still... Requesting server permissions. Oh, I'm going into the wrong server anyway be honest with you. Why is this not working? I should, uh... I should have this pulled up on my second screen. Dakota! That's enough, dude! He's like a dying goat. It's like a dying goat over there. Game capture may work as well. Red M. Where all these buttons do? I don't know. So dumb. It should just work. It used to always work. Shit, Red M's not even loading for me. We're just gonna kill App anyway. And we'll reopen it. It was it was broken anyway. It wasn't doing nothing. Maybe that maybe that was a problem. Maybe it technically crashed, but didn't work. Possibly. Who knows, man? But if you guys missed uh, any of our uh, dev streams, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday during the day, we are doing uh, dev dev vlogs as we create our new game. Uh, so if you're interested at all on how games are made, um, definitely come check any of those out. Hang out for any time you want. Five minutes, one minute, two hours, whatever you whatever you feel like. That's that's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Make sure to check all of our stream uh, channels for for those. Um, that'll probably be probably be uh, from now on for quite a while, actually. Let me at least try to get in the server so that I can get the game moved so I can see you guys and make sure that I'm trying to get the game figured out. So give me a quick second, get that figured out. Um, on Fridays, we're gonna be doing DRB, weekly DRB dev streams. Um, 
every once in a while maybe we'll do some dev work here but it's gonna be more of like a developers like q a stream so i'll be playing the drb um and anybody that's in the server can hop in uh you can ask questions as long as it's not meta i can help you out um you can also uh bring up suggestions or anything like that as well all right we're getting in finally so let me get this pulled up and get it changed to my lower monitor so you guys can see um no you can't see that it's not gonna work all right i should be able to do it here let me get this changed over real quick settings graphics change monitor apply yes back okay there we go um okay why is this not showing up from our gameplay now why is this dumb program not showing up do we just need to do window capture I guess we'll just do window capture for now. At least it's there. All right. There we go. At least it's there. I hate window capture though, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Do not worry some reason we have uh we have game sound we should now all right i think oh we're on epic profile that's where i i'm gonna go to default there we go <laughs> it's fine We'll, we'll stay on Epic Profile. I'll just pretend like I'm playing with a PlayStation controller. Um, there we are. Uh, let's get the heck out of here real quick, though. We're in rows, and there's a lot of people here. There we go. So... Yeah, so then on on Sunday, um, on Sunday we will be. Uh, let me turn off debug mode. On Sunday, we'll be streaming. Um, that will be more of a variety Austin BMX stream. Um, this Sunday, in two days, we're gonna be playing uh, some uh, American Truck Simulator with our driving wheel. Currently, right now, you can see on the widescreen, Miss Pony Macaroni. Shout out in the chat for Pony Macaroni streaming today. She is uh, playing American Truck Simulator with her wheel. Uh, so we're going to be doing that on Sunday. Looks like she's having a hell of a lot of fun, so I'm excited to do that on Sunday. Be a lot of fun for sure. Um, we'll also be playing some other stuff as well. We may... We may try some uh, Gran Turismo with the wheel. Uh, we may do some other stuff without the wheel. We may jump in and do some Far Cry. Uh, I do want to start a new playthrough of Far Cry 5. So we might check that out. All right. Let's see what we got to do. Fiddlepot really doesn't need to do anything. We need to get in Fiddlepot's voice as well. Um. <clears throat> Mean Mug says ATS is a fun game. Yeah, I've I've wanted to play it for a long time. I bought it a long time ago. Let's get off the road so anybody comes by. Uh, I even bought a wheel for GTA 7 and then never really got into it. Um, but recently I finally uh, decided to give it a shot because I have a couple friends that play it quite a lot and they were saying, dude, come play it. And that'd be great. Would be nice, a truck game with those rescue trucks. Oh, they, they have those, Dan Lee. I mean, we have... Uh, oh, a couple of years ago, we played uh, um, Mud Runner. 
Mud Runner is like a truck where you have to drive out in the mud and 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 pick up and do tow do tow truck stuff out in the mud in the woods. That's a pretty fun game as well. We have that game. We could probably play that with the wheel as well. That'd be a lot of. I haven't played that game in forever. But that game's fun because you get stuck, man. You get stuck in the mud with your big, huge, like flatbed tow truck. We probably can try that too at some point. Maybe we'll try a whole bunch of games like that on Sunday. Who knows? But that's our schedule, and we're sticking to it for at least this month. Uh, we'll be streaming six days a week. Saturday, I will be, you know, unless something IRL pops up and I have to go do something, right? Um, but for this month, I don't see that happening. So definitely this month, that's our stream. Stop. Stop. Go lay down. Go lay down. Go. 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 Go lay down. Dakota. Lay down. Good boy. I've, I've mentioned a few times that I definitely want to do some stuff with these little cart things. We want to use them for a random encounter. Um, speaking of, well, we should uh, get our stuff equipped real quick, right? Let's make sure we have that. Let's equip that. Um, go get our knife. Let's go ahead and equip that. Equip that. Do those not pop up and say they're equipped? We should probably add that, actually. We should add a thing that pops up and says knife equipped. I think it only happens for weapons because I, I know what the script looks like, and it pretty much says if you hit the use button, because equip is technically the use button, and it's in the weapon category, then, then pop that up. But we should probably put wilderness as well. So it kind of gives you that indication that, that you equipped these as well. Um... I'll have to fix that at some point in the next year. All right. So, yeah, I definitely want to use this little area as, like, an, an encounter. It's so like you come across this, and if you if you get out, I, I, it might, I might even make it so all of a sudden this is just here. It doesn't tell you nothing. Like, these are usually not here, right? And then all of a sudden it is. And if you see it, and you walk up to, like, this... Uh, maybe you can collect some moonshine, right? But make it so there's no prompt or anything, or no, no indication. Just it's there, right? That way, uh, people will click so fast on top of things to equip. I doesn't bug. Yeah, those those notifications are a. Uh, they they can be stacked, Danley. They can be stacked. And just play one right after another automatically. New Bricks, how's it going? Says, has there been any advancements on the idea to extend the railway? Um, no. Uh, I don't think we can allow trains to drive on non RDR2 created uh, railways yet. I don't think so. I don't think there's any way to do that. I mean, technically we've extended the railway, but the train won't drive on it, right? I get, I, technically there's a way that someone could code all that in there to make it so it automatic, like the train automatically follows this path, but that would be uh, brutal coding, right? Railway to Mexico can't handle more than one horse. Exactly. Yeah, so here, here's another one, right? I have to go around and find all of those. Gotta go around and find all of those. I think the game's too loud. Let me see. Is it, how loud is it for you? Maybe it's just me. I think I... Yes. Definitely me. I feel like I'm yelling. I, uh... I had my head set up. Um, because we were testing that audio a second ago. 
These were clean before, now they're back. Really? That's weird. We never turn stuff back on. How long ago was that, Dannerly? That's strange. Game sounds okay. Nice. Good to hear. Good to hear. That's weird that they were on at some point, not anymore. Let's uh, let's check our inventory and see if we got um, a map. We don't have any maps. We're gonna go buy a map. We'll buy ourselves a map. Can't mention before. Uh, I think before the last update. Hmm. I'm not sure what would have caused them to come back on. Usually we don't fuck with that shit very much. You guys know where the collector is. Guess we could just use the index. Probably the easiest thing to do. Um, car dealer. There he is. He's in Armadillo. Of course he is. Of course he's in fucking Armadillo. At least the last couple months, huh? Weird. I wonder why that. I wonder why that happened. That's strange. Could you use the hair pomade recipe to use? Not use panther eyes, but more like honey or something. I I think that's on a list. Uh, what's that? Kaiman? I think it's on a, on a list. Uh, panther eyes were kind of like the only gooey thing that we had at the time when we made hair pomade. Uh, but since we have honey right now, uh, I believe we are working on uh, making it a way as well to get like uh, beeswax for other things as well. And we'll probably uh, switch that at that, that at that point. I think it was right when the Y maps were cleared. Yeah, but we, we shouldn't have, that shouldn't affect that because that's a different script. The Y maps are like added. Um, that script is actually like a huge list of all the Red Dead Y maps in a big list. And we just take out a whole bunch. Um, so that's weird that they got turned back on. We'll look into it. I like to keep the map clean. Um, just because the more and more shit you have on the map, the more and more shit players have to render, which means the more and more time they crash. That's all we've gone through. Uh, well, actually, Patty did a fantastic job going through Saint Denis um, and cleaning out a whole bunch of the extra shit that we don't really need there. Um, like barrels in the alleys and just shit like that that just causes more stuff the player has to render um, and causes some issues. Yeah, we, we want to add um, beeswax. Because we don't have that yet, right? We have honey. Do we have beeswax? I, maybe we started to do it and I haven't finished it. Cause now I'm confused on if we have that or not. I thought there was a second. No, you get honeycomb, right? Yeah. You get honeycomb, and then you turn the honeycomb into bee, into honey, right? That's how it works right now. So I want to make, I want to make a way to, to also make bees wax with that honeycomb. Um, instead of honey, you can make beeswax, and then the beeswax you can use in like the hair pomade and some other stuff probably as well, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Crashing has actually improved at Crescent Lily. Nice. That's awesome to hear, man. What I'm uh, super happy about went from six or ten a day to maybe one. That's awesome, man. It's good to hear. Uh, like we said, this year, um, we're highly focused on optimization. So there won't be too many major new things that doesn't mean that little things here and there or even large things here and there don't get adjusted um like we adjusted the houses the markets got adjusted um we're gonna be adjusting some other stuff here soon but as far as like new new large systems 
Um, we're kind of putting that on the back burner right now to, to smooth out the server, make it run cleaner and more efficient, um, which is going to be better for everybody. There's still a lot of stuff that we can't iron out that we don't really have the ability to. A lot of that stuff is how the the one sync system works to allow, you know, technically this game is only made for 32 players, right? So that system that allows more than 32 players, that is not our system. That is, you know, CFX's system. Um, I do know that they're working on that quite a lot now that they're part of Red Rockstar as well. So hopefully we'll see some improvements in that in the near future or in the distant future or in any future, right? The only time you crash is right outside Armadillo. Yeah, that one's still kind of bad because there is a lot of lows down there. Um, if if you know that is a problem area, uh, technically it is a you problem. I don't like saying that, but it, it is because your computer can't handle what is happening. It could be a it could be a lot of different things, right? Jeez, why did my game? My game stuttered and I got like a Google pop up like my computer tried to do something and it like made my game freak out for a minute. Let's get off of that screen. I don't need that screen open. What? Let's just put it on. Yeah, that works. I just avoid it. Um, well, have you tried going a different way? Have you tried going? If you if you drop down from McFarland's Rants and drop down this way and then come in through here, you can skip Armadillo, right? Or if you do go do that and then go up this way, a lot of people have a better way better way doing that. It's it's all it, it's all based on distances of everything loading in. This way seems to be better for some people. Um, so you may try that. May try that. May, may give that a shot, man. Yeah, there's Julie says she tries the better, the better, the lower road. Oh, damn. That's a bummer, man. It's a bummer. Yeah, well, at least you could go the southern route and go around it to go do other things. All right. Maybe, maybe in the future we get that fixed. Uh, it's 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 due to all the it's due to the armadillo cleanup MLO that's down there, right? It's a massive a massive system that completely redesigns the entire town, right? Because that town in RDO is is totally tore up. And we and we want to use it, right? That's a terrible shot. That bird stayed there. the fuck what kind of bird is this excuse me um mr canary are you a cardinal what are you let's see i can't even tell why i don't oh you're an okay my bad sorry about that <laughs> it's a dead bird wilderness expert tip number 37 do not shoot small birds with a shotgun because they become non-birds. That's a free one. You could have it. You could take that one to the bank. <laughs> ridiculous. That's ridiculous. I need to find my varmint rifle. I actually lost my varmint rifle a couple months ago. I'm not sure how it happened. Some kind of bug. It's always going to be bugs, you know. I don't know. I don't usually run into that stuff. I'm not sure how it happened. Um, but I totally lost my varmint rifle and I haven't went and bought a new one. Uh, let's go see what the trapper's got going on right now. Since we're passing by.
Were we talking in game earlier? I just noticed that my chat thing isn't muted, which is weird. I'm not sure when I used that last. When I was talking a minute ago, this whole time, talking to you guys, was I in game talking? Because that's a fucking huge new fucking thing. Lord Skeletor, what's going on, man? Ridiculous. Howdy, Austin. Hope you had an amazing day and are doing well. Doing good, man. Hope you're doing well as well. Well as well. Hope you're doing well as well. Didn't pay attention. Me neither. Usually people catch it. So now I'm wondering if my stuff isn't working. Here, let's just try. Buck Notch? Nope. See, I don't have anything. Okay, so my stuff's actually broken. Hmm. Oh, it's right here. That's why. I was looking at the wrong button. Buck Notch, let's see. You stay right there, all right? Don't move, okay? Don't you stay right there now. Oh. Hello, good sir. Hey, how's it going? It's going good? Uh, Trapper Joe, have anything good for us today, or what you got? He's, he's, he's just uh, over here. Not, not bad. Not bad? Okay. Some, I gotta check him out. Yeah, just uh, trying to figure out where I get beavers. My, my book isn't doing anything for that. Where you get beavers? Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, are you trapping beavers or you just want to hunt beavers? Uh, I mean, you could just hunt some beavers. I would head up to, uh, what's it, up, up the, up the river over here, up over that way, that over over that way. Let's see. Let me check my paper map real quick. I, uh, it's uh, up by the, the dam, river? right? Or the creek river? No, not the Dakota River. Up, up. Uh, oh, it's uh, the Little Montana or the Upper Montana. Oh, out past Strawberry, you go up by the Owen Gilly Dam up there. That's the closest place around here. You probably get some good beavers out there. The Owen Jilly out there by the strawberries. All right, I'll go check it out. I appreciate yeah, it, man. Definitely check it out over there. That's for sure. Yeah. Not already. Find some beavers care. over there. Beavers like dams, right? You got to check it out. All right. Let's see. Joe, what you got for me today over here? You're looking for beavers? <laughs> well, let me tell you a story about beavers. <laughs> this one time, I was hunting legendary beavers. <laughs> in the desert. <laughs> Magdar, what's going on, man? Thanks for jumping in. You ever, you ever hunted yourself a legendary beaver? He's looking for elk antlers, white beaver pelt. Shit, is that what we have? No fucking way. Is that what, last time we played a month ago? That's literally what we hunted, right? Um, Actually, I might even just have it on me. Right? I got nothing on me right now. Is it is it materials? No, nothing. Did I put it somewhere? White beaver pelt. Did we put that shit away in our wagon? We might have. We might have to check our wagon uh in a little bit later. We'll we'll swing by strawberry and get our wagon out. Don't tell the Black Widow Beaver story. <laughs> no. Damn dog. The funeral story. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this one time. This one time in the desert. I was hunting legendary beavers. <laughs> and I got attacked by a lemon. From a funeral. <laughs> it was the weirdest thing that's ever happened to me. Did you guys know this one time? And I was using cougar bait? <laughs> Did you guys know the best way to hunt legendary beavers is with cougars? <laughs> uh, okay, fine. I need to get, I need to get a camera over there that points outside so you guys can see him freaking just skyrocket out the door. I should, I should sign him up for races. Uh, watch out, sir. Your pig is getting away. He's over here. What's it doing? Oh, it's 
Are you looking for something? I'm going to talk to them. Excuse me, piggy. What are you doing over here? What'd you find right here? What is that? What is that right there? Huh. That's weird. Nothing over here. It's very strange. All right. Wonder what that pig's doing. He's digging up stuff in the ground. Huh. All right. Yeah, I know what it is. I was hoping they would have came over to, like, let me know that that's their pig. I should have got my gun out. Like I was hunting it. Uh, I was going to let them know that just let it walk away like that is the cheap way to do it, and you don't get the good loot. But no one ever knows that because they just grind the treasure pig. If you actually follow the treasure pig and pick up the, the loot before it eats it, where you have to then dig through its shit, you actually get way better loot. You're watching episode four? I think I'm on episode three. Yes, I'm on episode three. So no spoiling. But if people actually use the treasure pig not as a loot goblin, but actually followed it around and RP that they were treasure hunting with it, they would get way better loot. It is really good, right? I'm, I'm loving it. I'm enjoying the, the heck out of it for sure. All right, let's pull our wagon out real fast and check and see if we have that beaver pelt. Follow my pig, I find a lot of good hunting. Exactly, right? Exactly. I haven't watched it yet, I'm so excited. It's good, Scuzz. It's pretty good. I watched uh, last couple with my with my daughter because she's, she's a big Fallout fan. Um, let's see. Let's get our hunting wagon out real quick. We're just going to check its storage. Um, beaver pelt, beaver pelt, beaver pelt. Uh, holy shit, does this not... Can we not go down in the storage? Did you guys know that that's a bug? Did you guys know that's a bug that you can't go down in the storage? On controller? I should try to fix that. Oh, it's a black beaver pelt. Damn. Didn't notice it. Use keyboard storage. Oh, okay. Well, I'll fix it at some point. That's weird. I have a black, black, legendary black beaver pelt. I swear the beaver that we chased was a white beaver, though, wasn't it? What do I do with that pelt? It's weird. Very strange. Very strange indeed. Put in a bug report. Yeah, I'll get right on that. I'll get right on that. I'll get right on it. I wonder if it's because I had nothing on my... On my, uh... On my inventory side, that it was causing it not to think there's anything there to scroll. Maybe, maybe we'll test that later. This is a dev stream, but we'll probably test that later on. I want to get down to Armadillo and get a... Uh... I'm a terrible shot today. I haven't played Red Dead in forever. Um, what kind of ammo are we using? Let's go to... Oh, I only got one express? Okay, let's keep... Let's not use that. Let's go back to regular ammo. I got one express round. Do we have any extra ammo? Let's take a break for a second right here in the water. 
Um, I got shotgun ammo. That's it. All right. We should swing by and try to find some ammo. We only have 28 bullets in this and one express round. To find some shotgun ammo as well. Let's go ahead and cruise on through McFarland's. I mean, McGavin Ranch. McGavin Ranch. Although, I know that that's what this is. Fiddlepot doesn't. So, if we run into anybody, we gotta know that, right? How's everybody enjoying the new warehouse storage system? Um, I know that last time we played was the day that launched. You guys, is that working out all right? I know it's Beecher's Hope, yeah. I know it's Beecher's Hope, technically. Right. Technically. Technically. Why is everything always all the way across the map that when we want to do something, right? Pretty sure last time we played, we were in the desert and we went all the way to Roanoke and then all the way back to the desert, I'm pretty sure. I haven't used it yet. I haven't even looked at the database to see how many people have used it. Hopefully people are using it because everyone always complains that they don't have storage space. So we built this huge unlimited storage space, really. I mean, if you want to pay for it, right? And uh, hopefully people are using it. If you need it, that is, right? I mean, I don't need it. I don't need that much shit, right? I should, I should, we should get out our hunting wagon and go sell all that stuff at, at, uh, at Crips or something. Or even to the trapper or something, right? We got quite a lot of stuff in that hunting wagon. We might even have. We should probably see if we have enough, if we have any goods. Although we haven't really done much hunting and we doing a lot of treasure stuff lately. So we'll have to see how it goes. First, first things first, though, we got to get ourselves down to Armadilly. Because apparently that's where the, the collector is. Got to buy ourselves a couple maps. Do we have money on us? We do. All right. There's a black bear. Might as well, since we're here, right? Excuse me? Let me go ahead and get this little hide from you, sir. Now make sure you grab that and get cleaned up and take the meat like that and clean it all up a little bit. Clean this up and brush it around. There we are. That's good. Fiddlepot, wilderness tip number 24. Make sure that you uh, have a clean kill and clean up after yourself. You don't want to be a messy man. Thought that was on the other one. Is, is Miss Macaroni still playing American Truck Simulator? I heard she might change... Uh, yeah, she definitely is. Or she might change over to some GTA or GT, uh, 7. GT7? Watch her crash some fast cars, right? Notice this rock in the middle of the road right here, right? 
Is that rock always right there in the middle of the road? Jeez. Crazy. How many people have hit that with their wagon? Right? That's crazy talk. I'm going to be yawning all day, too. I'm trying to change my sleep schedule a little bit, get up earlier, which has been helping me actually be able to go to bed um, because the last couple of weeks I've been, like, wide awake to, like, 2 in the morning or so, just can't sleep. So I'm trying to change my sleep schedule a little bit. So I've been getting out of bed when the dog wakes me up at fucking 7 o'clock. I'm like, okay, I'm just going to get up. And it actually had been helped me because I actually went to bed, went to sleep fairly easy last night, which is good. And I don't think I woke up. I don't think I woke up and tossed and turned at all until I woke up like at seven. And usually the last couple of weeks, I just been like, it feels like I just nonstop toss and turn. And don't want to get out of bed till like 9, 30, 10 or something. And even then I'm like, uh. So I tried to get up pretty early today. So I'm probably yawning the entire stream. Like right now. Ah! Ridiculous. There we are, Buck Notch. Nice sunset for our viewing pleasure. Look at that. It's absolutely uh, mesmerizing. Look how beautiful that is. We should get a shot of that real quick. Come over here. Look at that spectacular view. It's absolutely fantastic. Quite the, quite the thing. Look at that. Quite the sight right there, isn't it, Bucknuts? Quite beautiful. Look at all those different colors. You got your oranges and your yellows, and it bounces off the sky and turns to a beautiful purple. It's fantastic. What do you want? You're not going outside in those days. What do you want? Go get a birdie. You stay outside. You want it out there so bad. And then it turns to a dull gray meh. <laughs> Shit, I need to drink something. Do I have anything to drink? All right, let's just drink one of these just so we don't got to worry about it for a little while. Try eat something as well. Um, I just eat the stew, I guess. I need to buy some stuff now. There we are. Absolutely fantastic. Um, we will be uh probably gonna eat some dinner as well on stream. Um, we're going to be streaming around that time and I ain't, I ain't waiting until 8 o'clock at night to eat I'm freaking crazy that's what time it is for me when stream is supposed to end and if I do eat maybe we can even not have to worry about getting off right at okay what side of the road are you being on it's ridiculous Jesus oh we say freaking Europe or something yeah, be on the right side of the road Come right on at me like that. You spook our horses. Ridiculous. Muckbane stream. Muckbang. The hell is a muckbang? Mm. 
Oh, I want to try something actually real quick. Oh, looks like there's a whole bunch of shit broken down here. Look at all this crap right down here. Jesus Christ, it's always a fucking disaster. I can't even delete any of this shit. Nope. Just can't even fucking delete it. It's fucking stuck here. This fucking game is trash. Uh, if you were eat food on stream and talk, that's what a mukbang stream. Don't know if I. I mean, I eat. I eat. I eat on stream all the time, like almost every day. <laughs> Don't know if it's me or what, but the storms here in DRB seem so much more intense than other servers I've been in. I mean, technically, the storms are just default. Just Red Dead. What up, Stash? Tony, what's going on, man? Thanks for jumping in over there on the Facebooks. Hope you're on a fantastic Friday, Friday evening. Any plans this weekend? Got any car shows coming up? Hang on. I'm going to let the dog in and let the cat out because now they're all fucking driving me nuts. He has been way out in the woods or something. It took him forever to come back. Good boy. Go lay down. He must have been all the way on the back 40 of the fucking yard or something, man. You got surgery next week? Shit, man, that sucks. Hopefully it goes well for you, man. Maybe it's the sound. I mean, it's all... It, we, just, we, don't, we, we don't do anything to manipulate the storms. They are just... Rockstar generated Red Dead Redemption 2 storms, right? I mean, you can always turn down the game sound. I I mean, I do as well. When lightning storms happen, turn that shit down. Luck, luckily, game sound and, and chat audio, you can put on two different uh, uh, outputs if you want, and then just turn one down so you can still hear game chat, right? That's what I do. Um, I want to try something real quick. Uh, I thought I made it so you could sit on these benches in here, but I don't know if I actually pushed this. And if I didn't push it, it wasn't working before. It definitely isn't working still. Let's see if you can. Uh, nope. See, I I need to fucking do that. That's that's probably sitting. That's probably sitting in the test server right now. Just sitting there. I need to push that shit, man. I put I put I put invisible benches on all those benches so you could sit there and you can actually do like a meeting with people. Right. I wanted to do some I wanted to have Fiddlepot do some wilderness wilderness seminars there. I, I need to I need to write up like a uh, some talking points and stuff though. Literally sitting. Yeah. Oh, actually, can I I can just go over here and go is there stairs? No, there's not stairs over here. Gonna go upstairs and then out the door, right? From the nasty track wreck I was in with that drunk driver C4. Oh shit, man! The one that you got rear-ended a little uh, while back, right? I think I've never seen the pictures of that. PB Terra, thanks for jumping in. Hope everything's going all right. Good morning, Austin and Chad. Everyone is doing well. 
We are doing good. Hope you're doing as hope you're doing well. That sucks, man. When do you got surgery then? Just next week? Was it like a Monday? Um, I want to buy... Let's actually go to Guarma today. Let's go to Guarma today. I'm going to buy a couple maps, though. And we're going to go to fucking Guarma. I don't know when the last time I've been to Guarma is, but let's go to Guarma and do some treasure hunting. On Wednesday? All right, man, we'll, uh... Good luck with that. I hope you heal up fast and have good uh, good support there locally, right, man? You're gonna be the, oh, you're going to be in the hospital for five days? Shit. You're having surgery on your fucking, fucking spine. Jesus, man. You need to catch a break, Tony. Was that a little fucking dog right there? Whose dog is that? Oh, it's that person's dog. Oh, they're going that way. All right. I was going to talk. I was going to chat with them, but... I want to do a little more RPing. Um, so I was going to chat with them for a minute. Just so you know, tell them that's a cute little dog. Last time Fiddle Pop went to Garma was for testing the metal detector. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, we're going to be testing the metal detector today as well, right? And try to find some shit. Maybe we should just ride to Guarma. Possible Halo, yeah, been rough these last few years. Fuck yeah. That's awesome. You got the the bike put together though. I want to see it in person. Maybe I'll have to make my way out that way. Cool games. Yeah, this game is pretty fun. Uh, this is Red Dead. It's a big old Wild West game. Um, we are, we are in our, our custom private server that we, uh, have helped develop and create lots of custom, uh, features in it. Um, all this stuff, you know, basically was, the fuck, there's a dude right there as well. Must be a weird ambush that got broken. Uh, all this stuff is basically made by, uh, Rockstar Games, and then we add, we, we, we layer our own stuff on top of it. To make uh, our own special features and stuff in it. It's pretty cool. A lot of fun. Um, then on our other side, we're also developing our our own private um, or our own personal game as well. The Temple of Shadows. If anybody in chat hasn't seen Temple of Shadows, make sure you're watching our dev streams on Monday through Wednesday or Monday through Thursdays. Um, where we... Uh, we showcase um, a lot of the dev work for our our new game that we are built we are making. Um, hopefully by the end of this month it will be available for wish list on Steam. So make sure you guys are watching for all that news as well. Um, I would I would I would love uh, everyone to wish list it, even if you don't give a shit. It would help me out a lot. So make sure you guys are watching for that news. Oh, you're gonna you're gonna do the you're gonna do the red line as well. Nice, man. That's awesome. That's awesome. There she is, still driving truck. On Sunday, we are gonna be playing. Uh, here's the wheel right here. 
On Sunday, we're going to be playing Truck Simulator. American Truck Simulator. Rootin' tootin' truck driver. One of the coolest things that I have enjoyed about it so far of the four hours I've played it <laughs> is that I, I started my journey in my tutorial in Seattle. So I've been driving around Washington doing truck deliveries and the amount of things that are so freaking accurate are insane. Like I could drive down the freeway 10 minutes from my house in that game and see some of the exact same buildings that are in the fucking game. It's crazy. It's crazy. So I've been enjoying that a lot. Um, I think we're gonna go to... Don't worry, I'm a fantastic shot. Says, dude. Excuse me. Could you die, please? I knew that was going to happen. Got some weird sink issues going on. He's a ghost rider horse. Oh, we have... Uh, Tony, we, we have them at Halloween, man. Um, We have them at Halloween. Here, shh. I'll show you, okay? Everybody in chat... One of my good friends is in Facebook and we have to show him something. Um, so, uh, is there people right there? This is going to be a, uh, a, a, let's see. We're going to hide around. We're going to hide down here real quick. Okay. So the fix for the desync is two. Yep. Two double barrels. Yep. Fix for the desync is two double barrels. That is correct. Um, I forgot which one it is, though, so I might have to look through them all real quick. I think it's in the 500s. Uh, nope, it's not. Um, I thought it was in the 500s for this flag. Uh, there it is. Bam. There you go. See? Like that? Here, I'll ride. Oh, it's foggy too. Aha! Andale, Bucknuts! We're really fast now. You're the fastest horse. You go you go so fast, Bucknuts. You go so fast that your uh who's your on fire? All right now, I gotta go. I gotta figure out the fuck I am. Yeah, what is that red dot over there? Very strange. Yeah, the fix for the desync issue is to shoot shit in the head with a shotgun. On Halloween, we had a trick or treating event, and I was doing that for players. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. That's pretty fun. Right on, Tony. Right on. Yeah, there you go, right? <laughs> All right. Yeah, we we do allow players to do this as well. You just have to look. It's they're so magic they don't go out, right? Uh, the red dot could be the exotic pet. Oh, that's right, it could be. Yeah, we do allow players to do this as well. You just have to be around during Halloween and get the, get some special items. And then you can do it as well. Man, I got foggy as shit. I gotta use my... Whoa, goddamn! Jesus. It's foggy as shit. I 
I was I think we're gonna go to Blackwater and we're gonna fast we're gonna take the boat to uh Saint Denis. Um I guess we could just take our own boat as well, right? That's pretty quick. Maybe we'll just take our own boat. We could fast travel, we could take the ferry there. But that takes like three minutes of just loading screen. We probably could drive our own boat there in three minutes, to be honest with you. Because I do own a steamboat. So we'll go ahead and do that. Law's gonna ask, sir, please put out your horse's hooves. Yeah. Excuse me. Um, that's a uh, dangerous hazard if you're in town. You could start a fire. <laughs> Definitely do not ride your horse through opened fields when you have his hooves are on fire. That is, uh, Smokey the Bear would tell you that. Where the hell am I? I'm the wrong fucking way. How the hell did I get down here? That fog got me all fucking twisted, man. Jesus. There we go. Now we're back on track. Back on track. Hope there's no funerals. What the fuck is that, dude? What is with everything today? What the hell is that? What the hell is that? It looks like a fucking salamander or something. Oh, it's a fucking squirrel backwards i was looking at the other way look if you look at it this way we got to go into first person if you look at it this way i thought that was the head right i was like what the fuck is that dude it's like a weird salamander man right i thought i thought the tail was the head i was like what is that man <laughs> Oh, shit. It's a goddamn fucking desync squirrel. A black squirrel. Put a headlight on your horse. Uh, I, I technically have a headlight on him, but it makes it works. Wor it looks worse than fog. It's, it's kind of it's just a lantern. It makes the fog actually worse. There's a lantern on his chest. That was funny. Hilarious. So hilarious. All right, looks like there's about looks like there's about 20 people here in town. Not sure what they're all doing. We're just going to cruise down. We'll go through the main part of town. Just to, uh, shit, do I have my gun out? I technically, no, it's holstered technically. Um, if I get off my horse, it's going to pop on my back, but it's, it is currently in, did you hear coyotes just now? In town? It's kind of weird. Yeah, there's quite a lot of people in town, actually. Black squirrel hunting. Exactly. Um, before we go to Guarma, we probably should buy some supplies. Um, let's go see if there's any stews for sale at the saloon. Pretty sure there's a saloon market in there, right? Don't know who owns that anymore. There we go. Smoking. All right, let's go in the saloon and see if there's anything for sale. The coyotes get on the roof sometimes. Uh, they shouldn't. The fuck? I can't go in this building right now. What the fuck?
I can't walk through this opening. There we go. Weird. There was like a weird collision there. Yeah, you too, Tony, man. Have a good one. I'll have to keep track uh, of your progress there, man. Uh, heal, up, heal up well, and good luck with your surgery this week, man. The... There shouldn't be any animals in town. I have, I have, I'm pretty sure I still have all animals turned off in town. That's weird. Now they, now they, now they might, they may show up on roofs outside of towns, but there shouldn't be any on town. Because I have it strictly turned off. Well, it's supposed to be, you know. Yeah, I mean, I've seen progress a lot too, but you shouldn't in town. There used to be a bunch in Blackwater. They shouldn't be there anymore. Um, what's cheap? What's cheap? They got some cakes. They got stews in here at all? They do. $15, $14 stew. Two of those. Let's buy both of those. Um, yeah, let's buy both of those stews. $350 for a tobacco pipe? Damn. Are those that fucking hard to make? Holy shit, dude. Yep, I can't walk through there. Look at that. Jesus, dude. Weird. All right, we got a couple stews. Um, I'm looking for ammo as well. Let's go check the gunsmith and see if the, the market in there is selling ammo at all. Yeah, there used to always be a prog horn on the roof. Oh, shit, see, I have my, uh, my fucking gun out. Because I got up on a horse. There we go. Let's see. And we want to go to the actual gun store down here. This is pending? You don't have nothing here? It's just pending? Nothing? Who the hell owns this? Well, I at least want to buy a rifle ammo. Just one, just to have an extra one. Pipes used to be six or seven. Jeez, man. Do we make? Do we really make them that hard to make? Maybe we just made them too hard to make. Whose horse is that? I have one I was gifted by a nice lady. Nice. All right, let's uh let's give Bucknuts some uh some water real quick and then we'll send him home. Oh, after you gave her the stuff to make the shit. Okay. You gave her the stuff to make it, and then she gave it to you. Shader, what's going on, man? All right, we're going to send him home, which means we'll lose those hooves. Doesn't matter. I kind of dev them to be on there. We're going to go get our boat. Oh, not to make yours. Oh, oh, shit. All right. Nice. Noise. Yeah, we'll we'll drive to Saint Denis on our boat or we'll sail. Is it sail even though we're on a boat with a motor? Think about that. Maybe there's nothing to think about, though. Maybe I'm just dumb. Good old Virginia. Good old Virginia.
And we're off. That's a weird transition. All that transition stuff is supposed to be doing itself on its own. Supposed to bounce back and forth between these cameras every few seconds. Yeah, do you, do you know offhand, Stanley, what it takes to make them? I didn't think it was too much stuff. I thought it was like... Legendary antlers, right? But doesn't that make you like... A lot? Ram horn? Yeah. Ram horn. I'm pretty sure that makes you a, a few, though, if I remember right. I wish we could make this thing take coal to run. This is probably faster than fast traveling, right? We're already halfway there. Not really. Yeah, it would make raw coal somewhere. Yeah. I could probably do it pretty fucking easy, to be honest with you. I'm already going to the coating right now. This is relaxing? Oh, for sure. Make the steamy run on moonshine. <laughs> I mean, can make it run on anything. Could make it so it runs out of runs out of gas in the middle of the fucking water, you know, if you don't keep it stocked up. I'm actually, I think I'm going to do that. I already have this idea. So the idea would be that the owner of the boat, it's got to be the owner of the boat because it makes stuff a lot easier. The owner of the boat could walk up to that little area right there in front and they would get a prompt that says add coal. And they could add as much as they want. Every time, that, every time they cl click the button, they would just add one from their inventory, right? They could just add, 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 add. And that would save. That would that would actually save in the boat's data. So that when you pull the boat out again later, it knew how much coal you had. And then I would just make it so every no matter because this engine's always running. So no matter what, every like minute or so, this boat uses one coal. Even if it's just sitting in the water, because it's always running, right? And then if you run out of coal, it makes the boat so it can't go anywhere. I'll just freeze the boat, right? That's pretty good. We should do that. That's a pretty cool thing to do. Not sure when that would happen. I could probably write that code and do it in like an hour, probably. Pretty much. Um, but I'm not sure when I'll have time to actually put into that. Yeah, from storage is too hard. From storage is too hard. What's the capacity of that boat? I have no idea. I mean, maybe we don't even have to make it one a minute, right? We can make it like, we could figure it out so it's like maybe a couple of, couple of, a couple of, Coal, uh, uh, in game day or something, right? So you could, you could add 10 to it and have enough fuel for quite a while or something, right? Nothing too crazy, just something cool. 
something cool to do. We've wanted to do that with the trains a lot, but we don't have access to the same type of info. We don't have we don't have direct access to the trains that we spawn with those missions because they're part of something else. These boats I have direct access to. And the boat is directly connected to a player, right? Because it's their boat. So I can easily make it so that player can affect data on the boat. Same thing we do with the water wagon, right? It'd be the same type of concept as far as coding goes. I'm not sure what the capacity of this boat is. Probably not much. I probably don't have the capacity on the boat very much at all. We'd have to do it with at least every boat that is powerable, though, right? Isn't, uh... How is the... How is the keel boat powered? You can't see its motor, right? That's the only other boat we can drive, correct? I'm pretty sure. Is there a way to add ads dot on boats? I'm not sure what you mean by that. Like, oh, add new, like, whole new boats? No. Not, not, no ability to do that yet. Uh, I mean, not, there, there is the ability to add objects into the game. So, if somebody, not me, if somebody designed a new boat model in, like, 3D Blender... Right? They could import it into the game. We could spawn it, but it wouldn't go anywhere because we don't have the ability to add physics to objects like that yet. How many other passengers can that boat take? Technically none. That's one bad thing about this boat. Technically, I, I think I've, you know, like 10 or 12 people can get in the boat. But all they can do is just crouch. Uh, no one else can sit in this boat. It's kind of dumb, actually. I saw a guy a, bo a, a guy with a boat, big boat the other day. It was new. In our server, I mean, he, he might be driving the keel boat, but that's probably it. Not the keel boat. Well, the only other thing it was then, um, it could have been like uh, a staff member doing something with a, an event or something. But as far as a player, I'm pretty sure the biggest boat is the keel boat that you can spawn. That, and technically, that's the that's the biggest boat that we can actually drive, actually. that has driving physics in this game. Boat taxi job out of the question. I mean, you, you could still do boat taxi. They could jump in and sit down like Neil. They could even do slash sit and they'll be in the boat. Oh, that's great. Yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. We're going to roll this sucker right up to where the other boat dock is. I, uh, I wanted to make a way to drive your boat to Guarma. It, there there would be some fast traveling involved but like if I got my boat and I drove my boat to a certain point on the map here you could then 
drive your boat to Guarma, essentially through fast travel, and I would uh, and then you and then you would have to like drive your boat in from a certain area out in the Guarma stuff, which actually is kind of hard to do. It's not easy to drive your boat in Guarma. I mean, well, there would be because I, I would, I would make there be ocean. Yeah. You can't, you currently can't drive your boat to Guarma because there's no way you can get there via water. But if I, if I fast traveled you there before I took you out of the small loading screen, I would spawn in the ocean for you. Just like we do when I fast travel you there, not on your boat, right? Did you guys know that when you're in Guarma, when you are in Guarma, New Austin is flooded? Were you guys aware of that? Maybe we'll showcase that later. Just kind of sneakily. Because we can. It's fun. You wasn't aware of that? We'll do it. We'll do it later, okay? When we leave Guarma, I'll show you guys something pretty cool. You can see it from the balloon. Oh, really? If you fly up your balloon, you can see it. If you if you fly up in your balloon from Guarma, you can see the ocean just be massive. I hope your market survives the flood. Yep, yep, you got that right. Yep. The ocean will be covering everything until you uh until you take a nap and respawn in, right? It and it then it turns off that default. Yeah, I wish we could drive those boats, but those boats don't drive. There's no way to drive those boats. Like you can this boat. Like a vehicle, right? Yeah, the sailboats would be great. Yeah. Well, that's disturbing. My immersion has been broken. I think there used to be a uh, a steamboat here, right? I think there was a steamboat here. And now there's no steamboat. So all the items are floating. We probably should figure out whose camp this is and let them know. Um, yeah, you can have to move your camp. I think I remember... I'm not sure if this has always been the same person with this camp, but I remember this camp because I, I remember finding it when we, a long time ago, I was like, oh, they put a camp on the boat in the river. Pretty sure it used to be a steamboat right here. It must have got turned off with some of the, 
Saint Denis changes, right? We gotta go on the other side of this big boat. That's what I said. Yeah. What the fuck? What the shit? The damn steamboat over here. I totally missed the fucking right dock, but that's okay. Yeah, it'd be really cool to drive that boat. Right? It'd be really cool to drive that boat right there. That's pretty dope. One of these days. Yeah, I wanted to... I should have pulled up over here, I guess. Driving to San Diego? Jeez, man. It's taking forever. She's going to be driving all night. Um, why am I so lost? Way off. The pier's way down here. I was way off, man. Jeez, do we have money? Yeah. Get the hell out of this crazy weather. All right. Yeah, have you guys have you guys driven boat out here? I don't think I own a that's the only boat I own. I, I think the keel boat's the only boat you can you can drive out here. The waves are just too much. See, every time every time it goes down like that, it kicks you off of it. See? <laughs> there we are. It's very wavy out here. Come on now. Q Dizzle, what's going on? Yeah, wave's too big. We have to do the keel boat. Now I'm... <laughs> I 
I'm drinking water at the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> I'm drinking water at the bottom of the ocean. Look at I'm a deep sea diver. There we are. All right, I gotta get out of this. Let me get back to dock him. God, there's too much waves right here. Ridiculous. Noise. Noise. Pony macaroni! Coming with a raid. You're done driving already? How's it going, Pony? Thanks for the raid. Much appreciated. I was just thinking, I would I wanted you to stay live all night so I could raid you. Cause I was just thinking, I was like, when the last time we've been able to raid each other, but we've been actually streaming around the same time. That's great. How's everybody doing? We're over here playing in the DRB. We just made ourselves way to Guarma. How was how was your drives? Where was your uh where is your last destination? Did you make it across the whole United States? Or are you still stuck in Texas? Stuck in Texas. We go shout out to Pony. She's absolutely amazing. If you guys haven't already, make sure to give her a big old fat follow. No all night streams today? All right. All right. All right. That's good then. That's good. Um well, I have to say that it looked like you had such fun. I'm glad that you had a great time streaming. Um, and I can't wait to stream that game as well and just cruise around. And uh, I won't be backing up backwards down freeways now. So there's that. <laughs> Jesus, dude. You and Menace go around just doing whatever the hell you want. I thought you were supposed to, like, actually s simulate driving that game, right? All right, we got two things right over here. We're going to go get those real quick, and then we'll go up the hill. She's a good driver. Okay, yeah, I know. She's definitely a good driver. They arrested her in Texas. <laughs> no dash cam footage of it, huh? Mmm, noise. Noise! Yeah, I saw her flannel. Her flannel shirt was great. That's great. Uh, we didn't we did have her up on the chat over there. Right there, see, there she is. We we had her up on the live monitor. So every once in a while, we would, we would see what she was doing. That's great. No arrest. No arrest. That's good. All right. We're doing a little bit of treasure hunting, and I thought we'd do some treasure hunting in Guarma today. So we bought ourselves a Guarma map. And we got ourselves over in Guarma. A little bit of some beach time today. And it's nighttime as well, so that works out, right? Can leave a lurk. Oh, appreciate it for sure. Talk to you soon for sure. Uh, thank you for the raid. Much appreciated. Spying on Pony? Of course. Gotta keep an eye on her. Um, I don't think we actually equipped our melee detector, did we? Oh, we did. It was equipped. Okay. House is going to watch Fallout. Thanks for sharing. For sure. I can't wait to watch the next episode as well, Julie. It's great. I just heard my daughter get home, so she's probably going to come down here in a minute and be like, uh, you making dinner? You want to watch Fallout? I'll be like, well, you make dinner, and I'll watch Fallout later tonight if you want i'll watch an episode with you i'll have to see what she's doing i'm not sure if she already watched some she might have already watched some all right we're close by something that's good we got it here at nighttime. 
After going out hunting beavers, don't forget to hunt for boobies. Red-footed ones. Is this getting more here? No, it's definitely slower there. It's definitely over this way. The collector will appreciate boobies. The collector lights boobies and beavers, huh? Oh, it's right over here somewhere. Shit, hopefully it's not like in the ocean. Hopefully it's not in the ocean, right? <laughs> A magnate turquoise ring. I'll take it. I'll take it. I think we had another spot right here, didn't we? Yep. Let's just put a mark on that and just... Whoops. Put a mark on that real quick and just walk towards it. Now, we know it's not right there, right? But... Get ourselves angled up. There we go. Well, again, thanks for everybody jumping in. We're playing some DRB, doing our weekly DRB dev Q&A stream. If you guys are familiar with the DRB, it is a Red M server. The Dakota Riverbend. Um, where the amazing Miss Pony Macaroni does a lot of work as well, as I am the lead developer over there. Um, so we are doing... You know, uh, playing in the server so we can, uh, you know, come across any little things. I've already found a few things that I want to fix. Um, and we're available for anybody to pop in and ask questions, uh, start up conversations on develop developer systems, right? We don't talk about or answer anything as uh, rules or admin related because that's not our department at all. Um, and if you got any suggestions or anything... This is definitely the place to be every Friday. So make sure you guys are popping on in. Um, are we close to this? This is not anywhere near where it says it is. I don't even have a single blip yet. Um, if you guys enjoyed American Truck Simulator, uh, we will be playing American Truck Simulator on for Sunday. Make sure you guys are watching for that. Should be a lot of fun. We may check out a couple other games we have as well. <laughs> this is not do. Oh, there we go. Finally. Jeez. All right. It's up this way somewhere. There we go. Man, I was getting worried there. Oh, man. It's deep in the bushes. It's over here in the bushes somewhere. Someone lost it when they were running up here to go pee or something from the beach. All right, we're close. This is like right here somewhere. There we go. Got it. My name is Norman T. Fiddlepot, and I am a uh, excellent treasure hunter. Is Fiddlepot an herbalist or a collector? I mean, technically... Job-wise, he's an herbalist right now. All right. The next one is far away, right? Yeah, it's way up here. And then we got to go all the way down there. Damn, dude. That one might be in the, in the fucking ocean, to be honest with you. my horse way the fuck over there come on find your way over here I should have made him follow me way too far away buck knots what are you doing so far away supposed to stay close gotta watch out there's Madagascar jumping spiders out here you don't like spiders Ha, <laughs> ha, 
and snakes as well. See, I told you. You gotta pay attention. All right, we gotta pay attention to the roads. Because there really aren't any in Guarma. So we can get sidetracked really easily. See, like, this is a road? This is ridiculous. There's a goddamn goat path. Speaking of Guarma, I'm pretty sure there is a big event coming pretty soon out here. Pretty excited for that. It's going to be awesome to see. Shout out to the community team and all they do to, to create some pretty cool events for everyone to partake in. We cross this river? Yeah. Ridiculous. Yep, look at that Shmexy bank over there in the middle of the jungle. No one even knows it exists. This is... It's all hiding out over there. It's the first national bank of Guarma. I love all the ambience here. I'm actually doing some research right now. I've been working on my soundscape of my game. If you guys are new to the channel and you're interested in game development, make sure that you're following uh, on all of our platforms. Uh, we do stream Monday through Thursday. Uh, game development of our, uh, our personal game, Temple of Shadows. Uh, so make sure you guys are coming back checking out that so you can see how uh, games are made. We did a lot of stuff this week. Um, and created some pretty cool environmental areas. Built a fully mechanical swinging door with, with moving gears and stuff like that. It was pretty fun, actually. So make sure you guys are watching for that on the channel. We do stream on Twitch as well as YouTube. Right now, we are streaming all of our DRB and dev stuff on the DRB Studios channel. Um, we also stream on Facebook as well as Twitter. Ugh. All the foliage. All the foliage. The forest and sons of forest are the eerie cave atmosphere. Steamboo.com, best and cheapest viewers. Oh, that's what I want. I want the best and the cheapest. You got it working? Nice. Absolutely fantastic. The best and the cheapest. That's what you always want, right? Guarma Loki is a uh, horror area. Do we need to get up on this hill? Can we even get up there from this way? Shit, we may need to like do some like roundabouts, some roundabouty or some. Shit, this actually might be out of our realm of getting actually might need to get the horse over here now we could definitely get up that way might have to go out and around thought Garmin was like a cocaine growing area oh shit we might get lucky it might just be like right here No, I think it's I think it's right on top of the fucking cliff. Unless it's right here somewhere. 
No, it's definitely right on top of the cliff. Shit. I guess we'll go this way. Damn it, where'd the horse go? Buck Notch! Buck Notch! I'm getting scared out here. Yeah, where is he at? I, I'm pretty sure we can get up there with him. I'm pretty sure that isn't a barrier. It's just ground. Let's give this one a shot. Nope, definitely can't go up there. All right, let's go over here and try this. Nope, shit. This might be the actual end of the world. We might have to figure out how to get our our balloon out to fly over this barrier. Oh yeah, this is the barrier. This is the barrier. Can we go way over here possibly? And come back? We might have to go out this way and come back. Co Coca Plantation? I mean, people... I mean, technically Guar made his sugar cane plantation. Technically, right? There we are! Buck Notch! Dakari, how's it going? They were jumping in. Yeah, it, it's sugar cane because, you know, Rockstar couldn't make it, you know, cocaine, right? They couldn't make it, like, opium. I'm pretty sure we can get up there, right? We might have to go way out around. Let's just get our fucking balloon. Isn't there a way to get a balloon out here? Right there. Is that a wagon emporium? Right there. All right. They made cocaine gum. Yeah, but all they made, all they do is just make the gum you can buy from a catalog, right? And cocaine gum was was readily available for everybody. It's not like they were, you know, making growing grow. They didn't make any growable drugs. We made all those, right? Yeah, they, they didn't make any drug dealy stuff in here. That's probably why they kept it as sugar cane, I would imagine. Jesus. Sorry, Buck Notch. Let's cross the river here. There we are. We come down this way. There we are. Just like that. Oh, careful now. Careful now. Here, go up this way. There we are. This is the right direction. I believe. Actually. You better be careful. We might get shot. This is not a good spot to be. Don't gonna be ruining this person's nice sugar cane here. Sorry, sir. Here we are. I have found the town of Aguara. Yeah, we made our drugs in the good old U.S. of A. The good old U.S. of A. You can definitely get up there. Um, with a horse? I mean, I, I know you could go way out around that way. We probably can get up there. But we're just going to do it the easy way. We're just going to do it the easy way. All right. Send this horse away. Get out our good old balloon. Balloon of air. There we are. Shit, I need to repair this some bitch. Um, north is that way, 
so we need to go east. That's probably enough, right? Did I not lock descent? Weird. That's where I locked descent. Where's it at? Like right out there somewhere? Someone's fucking shooting at us! Alright, I don't think we need to go up any higher. Alright, we're getting there. It's right over there. Shit! Tree! Jesus. We almost freaking killed ourselves. Oh man, we... we we fucked it now. From the wrong fucking way. Why am I go? What am I? Oh, I'm gonna go east. Shit. I'm gonna go east. We're going in the deep jungle now, boys. Was it like right here? What the fuck? Is that the. God damn, we are fucking like. The wind's blowing so fucking hard here. The wind is blowing like crazy. We need to go east. Be a little southeast, right? I can't tell where this is compared to where we were at with it last time because it was like right on top of the cliff right it's on top of that cliff right there i'm pretty sure yeah let's try to set this baby down right here Shit, 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 shit. Nope, wrong way. Shit, lock it, lock it, lock it. Hold it. Where, where's, our, where's our direction now? We need to go south. Hold it, 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 hold it. This is not looking good. Going down. Maybe we should have put it on that flat ground up there. Too late now. All right, we made it. Whew. Shh, it's spooky up here. I'm pretty sure it's right over here on the edge of this cliff. Shit! <laughs> Nikki, how's it going? Hey, Austin. Gilberts. Says get good, you log. That wasn't my fault. Remember, I'm right on the edge of the world. I got pulled off of there. I didn't fall off the damn cliff. This is the edge of the world. From Blamo. 
It was Amasa's fault. Guess what? Now our fucking balloon is stuck up there. <laughs> we were way off, too. Isn't it like over here somewhere? Yep, see, it's right here. I need to, like, put a mark on the map. Right here. It's, like, right there. Ah, uh, been too long since I heard that song. Yeah, now you hear it all the damn time. Fiddle pop fell down the fell the fiddle down. He fell down on down on his fiddle. So now we're kind of screwed. Now we're kind of screwed. We have to go back and recover our fucking balloon, right? We have to go back and recover our balloon. So then we can get it back up there. It better be a goddamn good treasure. Just our luck. Okay, the server restarts in... The server restarts in, in 40 minutes. We have 40 minutes to get the treasure. And the other one. Or we will lose them forever. Not really. I mean, they will probably change locations, right? They won't be here anymore. They might be. We might get lucky. But the server uh, recycles all the spots every time it restarts, right? We must hurry now. Must find... The treasure of the King of Guama. Watch out, pig. I ain't walking a long way. There we go. See? We can recover it. Just like that. Nope. Wrong one. Pay attention. Don't forget to eat something. Oh, good idea. Good idea. All right, here we go again. This time we have a mark. We're gonna go up higher so we can really get a bird's eye view of where a good landing spot is, okay? Cause we gotta go way up in that jungle. We need some good height. Actually, it's over there, I think. I think that's the hill right there. All right, this is probably good enough. Let's lock the scent. Let's check our map. It looks like we need to go south, right? Which is down on my controller. All right. Let's go off this way for a little bit. <laughs> oh, man alive. It's ridiculous. Damn fiddle pot. The wind's so damn strong up here as well. Blows you around like crazy. Yep, it's gotta be up here somewhere, right? 
I'm on top of the world. All right, let's check our map again. Yep, we got to go southeast just a little bit. So that's probably like that. I think it's like right up there on that cliff with those trees right there, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's like right here, right? So let's try to go down right here. So I was thinking maybe I can use the basket to save me. Where do you guys think it is? Like right in this bushes right here, maybe? It's very scary up here. All right, we have landed. We are definitely close. Hopefully it's not right on the edge. There's too many damn noises, man. Since it's... I hate that view. Oh, it's definitely up here. Okay. I just I just felt it go up a notch in in intensity. So it's definitely not near the edge, which is good. It's up here somewhere. Moment you make a small change and don't realize it was a big impact. Used to play DRB a lot more. I watch more streams now. It's always fun to watch DRB streams. All right, we are super close. There it is. There it is. There she be, boys. There she be. Noise! Dirt covered bracelet. We gotta go clean this one off. I right, gotta make sure we don't fall out of this fucking balloon when we get close to it. We gotta get right in it. And in. All right, open map. And I wonder why that didn't go away. Did we not walk close enough over here? Let's try to see if we can do that real quick. Where's that on the map? Yes, yeah, literally over here. Huh. That's weird. I don't want to lose our balloon again, so we're not going to worry about it. 
Should have made that yellow go away. All right, we're going right there. Perfect. This is probably high enough because... Yeah. Should have been a gold bar. Yeah, that'd be nice. I kind of changed the mats needed to craft one of the food items, making two items that chefs can make totally, make totally useless. Ah. Yeah, that happens, right? It happens. We're going to make it. And then we're going to fly over to the... flooded new Austin before the an uprising before the storm hits you guys can see that's funny you ever tried a chef it's a lot of crafting and if you enjoy food I like food. You like sheep herding? Yeah, that's fun as well. That's why we have so much stuff to do on the server, right? Always something for people to do. Is this where we're going? Yeah, down there. Oh my god, dude, I hit the wrong button. What button is that? So that's the jump button, but I was hitting square to stop descending. So why did I jump out for? Did I accidentally hit triangle? Did I, did I accidentally fat finger triangle just before I hit square? Because I, I was I was hitting the button to stop descending. Look at that. I'm sinking to the bottom. I'm sinking all the way to the bottom. Man, how deep is this ocean? Ridiculous. See if we can find someone else that's on. Uh, Ben Studios is streaming. That's pretty cool. Old Man Game, Bam, Roger Jordan. The car, the car, you're streaming. You were in this chat. The car was in this chat. Are you sure you're checking out Dakari and all the other stream team members as well? Check them out out over there. What you doing? 
Are you? Did you just start streaming or something? Was that like a uh, an intro? I don't have any sound for it, so wasn't aware. That's for killing a bird with a shotgun. <laughs> I guess you're right. I guess you're right. We still should make this though, if we wait the time and wait and wake up here. Yeah, we got thirty minutes. We have thirty minutes. We will make it to the destination. Oh fuck our You guys see my balloon up there? It's getting pelted by the waves right now. It's getting straight pelted by the waves. What do you want? Not my problem. I know. I'm waiting for them. It's not me, it's them. You have, you have to you have to look. You got to look at that camera over there. See? Look look really sad. If you look Dan really Dan Lix wants to give Dakota a treat. Good oh. boy. See? You just got to look really sad. Oh, there is another full one. It's a Christmas tree. That's so good. That's so good. Good boy. <laughs> nah, there's no sharks swimming in here. There's no sharks swimming. Technically, I, I should have just... We'll, we'll wait it out. We'll wait it out. Remember, guys, we will be streaming on Sunday as well. We're going to be playing some American Truck Simulator. Uh, maybe some Far Cry 5. I want to start playing a playthrough of that. Um, if you guys are interested in game development, we are developing our own game right now called Temple of Shadows. And we're showcasing a lot of the development process on our streams Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday during the day um, as we're sitting there working on it. So make sure you guys are checking out that if you're interested in how games are made. Um, it's been a lot of fun. I don't think I'm getting my balloon back. Shit. Maybe, maybe my balloon will wash up on shore. No, it won't. It's probably broken. I need... We are really far away from Guarma as well. We're not going to be able to call our horse out here. We'll play, the, we'll play this off. I was going to fly out of here. And go show you guys some shit, but Fiddlepop might be Fiddlepop might be lost at sea for a little while. Like anybody would fucking know, though, or, or you know, <laughs> no one's expecting him for dinner. <laughs> Who wants to uh, RP a court reporter? Give him money. Pay DOJ people a lot of money because it's hard, and get people to join. No, because then people just join for the money. Which is the wrong reasons, because that that stuff needs a lot of a lot of RP, right? Unfortunately, a lot of those kind of jobs need to have the right person. You know what I mean? Yeah, we ain't getting that back. Let's go ahead and see if we can get our. Let's try to get our uh, treasure since we're out here. Where's Wilson? Where's Wilson? I have no idea. Wilson! This treasure might be in the ocean as well. So one thing bad about the way we have it built right now with so it's randomized. It randomizes it based on a specific cord. 
So if that cord's too close to water, it might randomly generate a water cord. Actually, I think it's up on the hill. Because it was a little... Either it's up on the hill or it's out there. It's fucking out here. I don't think we're going to be able to find it. It's probably in the water somewhere. Let's check all these rocks just to make sure. Actually, we might get lucky. Oh my fucking god, we fucking found it! Oh my god, dude! We fucking found it! What are the odds, man? So fucking lucky, dude. Damn. Guarmo treasure hunting's at another next fucking level, man. Jeez. If it was like one inch the other way, we would not be able to get it, man. That was good. <laughs> Now, if only we could get our balloon. Noise. All right, I'm going to try to recover my balloon. Mm. Probably not going to be able to pull that sucker from there stuck down there it is stuck down there let's delete it so sad how far are we away from civilization right now oh I didn't actually delete the whole balloon I just deleted the fucking top of it guess we're not too far Hopefully we can get off the beach here. Do I have a uh, lantern at all? Isn't there... I always forget where that's at. It's in tools, I think, right? I thought I... Oh, yeah. It's right there. I just can't see shit. Um, belt... Hip, hand, rifle, belt, hip. Oh, yeah, at least you can kind of see something. We'll need to stop at the shack and get some beer after all that excitement. Yeah. Hope there's no jaguars. Jaguars. 
<laughs> treasure hunting in Guara is not for me. Yeah, that was some fucking hard treasure hunting. You gotta be a top-notch treasure hunter to go down in the tropics. There's some pretty good treasure down there. Hell's Temple of Shadows going great, man. Uh, we we uh, ended off yesterday doing some pretty good sound stuff. Um, I also, after stream yesterday, uh, I worked on a little bit more stuff and got some of the the 3D spatial sound stuff working. So now the gears on the the gears now, if you're as you run away from it, they get quieter, right? I also made the button so it goes down really slower, so it's more like. And I also got the button working, so if you go on and off the button, uh, it only plays the audio once. Um, I'm also going to do that to, like, the gate. And the, uh, the, 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 the gear, the doors on the gear, right? So that people don't have just a weird audio issue if they like trigger something like by moving the laser back and forth a whole bunch and trigger the goal and make the door open and right. They only get one one audio sound. But uh, yeah, make sure you guys are watching Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. We will always be streaming Temple of Shadows development. Um, our goal is to have a demo ready by the end of this month. So make sure you guys are watching for that for sure. The demo will be free for everyone to try and also wish lists available hopefully by the end of this month. That's my goal. I got like three straight weeks to work on that and get that ready to go. We're super excited for that. Yeah, we'll go. We'll stop at this bar. Actually, is there a bar here? I think the saloon is like at the other place, right? Watching from blocks at the beginning. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun sharing the the process, right? It's been a lot of fun sharing the process. Oh shit. Damn, dude. I don't really want to eat one of those stews because the server's going to restart pretty soon and I'm going to lose half of that. I'm just going to eat a bunch of oranges. They're worth five health each. There we go. That's better. It'll hold us over for a little bit, right? Uh, oh, you can buy a six pack there at at this one or at the saloon near the boat dock. Yeah, definitely don't waste the stew. I should I should usually I have a whole bunch of cooked meat. I should I should make sure I cook some damn meat. Oh, this is the Guarma Island. That's right. Hey, Shane, you think you can make it so the menu doesn't close when you buy stuff here since you're popping a top tip in the top corner? So I could just 
buy a couple of waters and I'll have to reopen the menu. Little tip there probably as well, right? All right, sir's ready to close. We've made it back to civilization. Um, we are going to put our lantern away. Not that anybody probably uses this menu very much anyway, right? Um, we are going to remove it. Uh, I want to show you guys the water thing real quick, so. Um, where are we at? We need to go north. Earlier, maybe I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you still own a market down there? Oh, like right there on that. Uh, you owned a market on that. On that dock. Two tables restaurant. Nice. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. Johnny Fingers coming with a follow. Thank you so much, Johnny. Much appreciated. The bear coming with a follow. Thank you so much, the bear. Much appreciated. Yeah, I haven't made it down to Garma very much. All right, you guys know who we are, right? There's, there's Thieves Landing right here, right? Steve's Landing. So we're on the river. MX Neck Musneck. Yeah. Thanks for the follow. Much appreciated. I heard you can go to Garm with the balloon. Um, technically, you can go to Garm with the balloon. If you go to Garm with the balloon, there won't be any water there. Um, and uh, no waterfall. I can hear the waterfall. But there's no waterfall. Right? Look, now this has beachfront property. Right? There's a six pack there, yeah. Look, the the fort is flooded. The fort is flooded. This is the Guarma water. This is what will happen if you go to if you go to Guarma and then you bring your balloon back. Now, you shouldn't do that because it's, you know, immersion breaking and stuff like that. And it's kind of a, you know, exploit because there shouldn't be water here. You should definitely should use the processes in place to go to and from Guarma because it has to it has to load and unload certain aspects of the game to make Guarma visible because Guarma technically is a hidden area. But yeah, it, it's it's really cool. It makes the desert flooded, right? I can't even tell where I am though because there's no map. Um, I can't tell where anything is if we're going let's see let's go north for a little bit desert tsunami yeah oh see like what's this look this is fucking awesome This is top this is top of uh the mesa, right? It's a fucking island. It's an island. That's pretty cool. It's pretty cool, huh? Now, another fun fact. <laughs> if I got a boat out right now, 
I could drive the boat on the water and everybody else would see me driving a floating boat through the sky because I'm at water level and they're in the water. TMAD, me and TNAD did that one time when we were messing around with stuff. It's pretty funny. Ooh, that's pretty cool. But yep, this is the... This is the magic uh, Mesa Island. This is, this is, this is near uh, here. We'll we'll relog real quick, so you guys can see where we are. But it's a it's an island right here. It's pretty cool. I imagine tumbleweed is that way, right? Actually, that's let's go fly over there real quick. What is this? <laughs> um, I think that that's wrong here. I believe this is uh, not Fort Wallace. No, Fort Wallace is near Valentine. But it is, uh, flooded. It's not very good. Check Coulter. It doesn't go up that far. It, it's, o it's only New Austin. New, o New Austin is under Guarma sea level. Because Bla Blackwater is fine. Barely. It's anything, it's anything lower than the waterfall, right? The waterfall is the level. Yeah. Yeah, Fort Mercer. West. Fort Mercer's right there. You think Fort Mercer's higher than, I don't see tumbleweed, right? Oh, here it is right here. Is it? No, that's... That is probably... Um, Mercer Station, right? So Tumbleweed's up this way. Right here. Here's Tumbleweed, right? Right here. Tumbleweed's underwater. It's too low. I was hoping Tumbleweed would be kind of like flooded. It must be just barely underwater, right? Nah, I can't go down. It, it acts like water for me. Pretty funny, I know. Yep. The only way to change it is to go back to Guarma and and come back the normal way, so the system changes us, or we'll just relog. But the uh, server restarts any minute, so we'll just wait for that. We will wait for that. Oh, the guy's playing now. So she's running around in Valentine. You're screwed if you go to that island. Yeah. Right? You're screwed. Definitely. Faux show. Faux show. Did you guys see the shot that I picked out of stream the other day? I posted it on Twitter last night.
Jesus, why is this taking forever to load? My god, dude. Could you not be full screen, please? Where did you go now? Did you just load in like... No, not that. Where is this? Right there? There we go. Why is this not full? There we go. Bam. Um... There we are. It's looking so good, right? It's looking so good. Look at I'm on top of myself. Loving the game. Loving the game. I'm excited in this direction right now. It's looking so good. Can't wait till we get this the demo out later this month. And uh see where it goes. If you guys are interested in checking out the game, make sure you're watching our streams Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Where we uh, stream our full-time dev work. Um, right now we're kind of working on this game full-time. Uh, so uh, we turn the camera on every every day. You can just watch us cruise around. You can come say hi. Ask us any questions about game dev. Um, I'm learning as I go as well. I'm a sponge right now. So just, you know, trying to do some stuff. What game is this? This is my game. This is called Temple of Shadows. Um, Temple of Shadows. You can check it out. Uh, we we sh we sh we live stream dev work on it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday, Thursdays. Um, and it is uh coming along. It is a puzzle, puzzle driven horror game. It's gonna be pretty awesome. We're hoping to get it launched um end of June. We hope I my plan is to have a, a demo available and wish list available at the end of this month. So make sure you guys are watching for that. I don't use Twitter or Facebook or TikTok. It's too easy for people to find you or identity theft. Well, no one fucking wants this identity, man. I don't give a shit. Although someone stole my YouTube account. <laughs> that was my fault, actually, though, to be honest with you. I got suckered. Happens. I was wasn't paying attention, you know. Had too much other shit going on. PC game, yeah, it's PC game. Um, maybe I can figure out how to learn how to bring it to console. I don't know how to do that. It will have full controller support, but it will be PC game, yeah. Um, did the server restart yet? Yeah, it probably did. They try restarting right this second, actually. Oh, I can just watch. Is she already back in? Did we see if Dakari got in? I wasn't. We guys weren't on that stream. She either should get booted, or it should be any second now. We'll watch for a minute. Yeah, but it's been a lot of fun. Um, I'm currently doing full-time full -time student slash indie dev slash streamer. So uh, any, any likes, follows, shares of the channel definitely helps out and I appreciate it there maybe she just got booted now and she's doing a thing it should have restarted by now we'll try to connect um, after we get this game out we have a couple of other ideas we want to start working on as well as see if this game does fairly well possibly make a chapter two um, that's our that's our goal over the next year um, if it works out so we're excited. I'm excited. I am very excited. Okay. 
See what happens when you just decide to dabble in a little bit of coding to make your own server one day? See what it can turn into, guys? You must have ambition! John says, it looks fucking awesome! Even watch time helps? Yeah, for sure, man. Watch time helps. Or technically, watch time on the on the channel you're on right now, on the YouTube channel. Uh, these streams helped us finally reach our goal and get fully monetized. So my second YouTube channel, the DRB Studios YouTube channel, is now fully monetized now, finally, so we can have ads, which is good. Helps pay for some stuff at some point. Just Jason Gaming, thanks for the follow, man. Much appreciated. I appreciate all those follows, everybody. We're uh, on our way to our goal of a thousand followers over there on Twitch. We finally started to say, screw it. We're going to stream on Twitch more. And now we've been streaming on Twitch a lot more and trying to grow that community over there. Um, a lot of our amazing uh, YouTube friends have made our way over there as well. So I appreciate that. There we go. No more water. Look at that. Did we, uh... Did we, uh... Holy mackerel! The OMG himself. Old Man Gaming, thanks for that raid of 45, man. Much appreciated. We just got back in. You just missed us running around in a flooded New Austin. How was your stream, man? I imagine you were playing some DRB. Thanks, everybody, for hopping on in. I am Austin BMX, a.k.a. The Architect, if you are aware. We are doing a little bit of DRB today. Uh, my DRB is much different than OMG's DRB. But we like hanging out and having some fun. Thanks, everybody, for the follow. Uh, Kai Raiders Frontier Fabes, Fables, thank you much for the follows. Always appreciated. Do I have a shout-out for you? I don't have a shout-out button. If one of my, I think I saw T-Mad. Popping in with that. Hey, T Mad. Or Gil's here for sure. I think he's still lurking around. Let me give uh, OMG a uh, uh, a shout out. Be fantastic. Oh, you already did. Thank you so much. It's right there. I can't see nothing. I'm blind. Don't mind me. I appreciate it. I appreciate all the follows. OMG, uh, Wooly, classic. Appreciate that, guys. We're running around right now doing a little bit of uh, DRB stuff. We just did a Guarma treasure hunt it was absolutely brutal um we also uh are doing a little bit of drb dev q a we do this every friday if you guys are not aware you can check us out here on twitch or on the drb studios youtube channel um we do friday dev chats so we're we're sitting here chatting about Stuff we like about the server, stuff we don't like, stuff we want to fix, stuff we know you guys want to see fixed. Um, all that good stuff. Find any of Robotnik stuff? I did not find any of Robotnik stuff. We crashed our balloon. We got lost in the ocean. It was brutal. It was absolutely brutal, I tell you. It was absolutely brutal. We made it out alive, though. Well... We, we walked back to civilization, and then we, uh... What are you doing? This is the, oh, this is the, the IRL Dakota. Dakota's such a good boy. I don't know why he's in a loving mood right now. Come on. Oh my god, you're such a doof, man. Such a doof. Hunter, thanks for that follow. Much appreciated. Much appreciated, man. Um, then we flew over and... Don't lick the mic. What are you doing, doofy? So, as you guys are may not be aware, uh, the word Dakota, the, the server was not the first thing. The dog wasn't even the first thing. Technically, the first thing was our our posse name on RDO, the Dakota River 7. The Dakota River 7 came from the Dakota River, and it's what I named my posse when RDO first came out, and it's what we had for our community. Um, then I got my dog, and I named him Dakota, because he's a good boy. Right, he's a big good boy. He's such a doof, dude. Get out. 
And then, of course, the server came, and I was like, you know what? Dakota River Band sounds really good. You did Dog Count? We used to have one back in the day. EB, thanks for that follow, man. Much appreciated. We used to have a, can a dog cam back in the day, but he doesn't sit still. He runs around like a maniac. Jeez, he stinks, though. He needs a bath. Try to go the opposite way, like from here to Guarma. Yeah, then there would be no water. There'd be no water right now if I went that way. Which is all right. What the? What the frick, dude? Jesus, Dakota's a disaster, man. Go outside. Ridiculous, freaking dog. He had some. He had muddy feet from earlier outside. Now my pants are all muddy. I shouldn't have picked him up. So you are DRB. I mean, DRB came from my mind and vision. DRB is here because of a lot of amazing people that still put in all kinds of time to uh, make it what it is. So, um, I, I, I was the, I was the guy with the idea and suckered all my friends into helping. That's what happened. <laughs> That's what happened for sure. Let's see. Where are, where are we doing? All right. This is our character, Norman T. Fiddlepot. Norman T. Fiddlepot at your service. I am a wilderness expert, a vivid outdoorsman, and uh, I'd say I'm a pretty good treasure hunter as well. I mean, I just found some amazing treasure in Guarma. It was absolutely fantastic. You never know what you're going to find when you go out in Guarma. <laughs> ya dingus. Ya dingus. Fucking dog, dude. Run some trains. Yeah, I don't drive too much trains. We can go ride a train. It always feels like I'm in freaking the desert, man. We just got out of the desert earlier, right? We just got out of the desert earlier. My trusty steed, Bucknuts, will get us on our way. Is that a goat over there? No, that's, that's a mountain sheep, Bucknuts. What are you thinking? There's not goats in the desert. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Usually we run around, do some treasure hunting. It kind of keeps us out and about. We might run into a few people here and there and just chit chat. Uh, we're not too big on scenario RP stuff, though. So we don't have too many storylines going. Um, Fiddlepot may in the future uh do some wilderness classes or something um but my uh like i like i said earlier we have a we have a lot of stuff that we do we stream six days a week um sunday sunday is a big stream day as well we do lots of games we're actually gonna be playing some american truck simulator on sunday with our wheel it's gonna be fantastic you can come hang out with us as we'll be a uh, trucker all over the Pacific Northwest. Um, that's on Sunday. Uh, and then I said we stream uh, dev stuff on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday while we're working on our game. So we're usually pretty busy. So I don't actually play games outside that too much. So because of that, I really don't. I, well, I, I try not to get involved with too many big storylines because I feel bad. I, d I don't want to be the reason somebody doesn't do something because I'm not able to show up, right? Like, I watch OMG all the time. I watch Glob all the time. I think I saw him pop in. Team at all the time. And they're in server quite, like, all the time, right? So... Uh, they have some amazing storylines going. Love watching their stuff. Um, and if you guys want to, make sure if you haven't already, make sure to uh, bookmark the DRB 
stream team so you can make sure you can notice when all these amazing people go live and i just don't have the time to put into that to make sure that you know someone's not waiting on me right i always feel guilty if someone's waiting on me to continue their story right so we'll pop in maybe we'll say hi maybe we'll go on a little adventure or something if we have time one day out of the blue right but i really try to stay away from like drawing out storylines because again i go missing quite a lot i go missing quite a lot if i get roped into some daily adventure cool that's fine right but they'll be like okay you guys have a good day see you later you know because i don't want to say I don't want to get involved in something and be like, okay, I'll I'll see you guys tomorrow. We'll we'll finish this up, you know, because it, it probably ain't gonna happen, to be honest. <laughs> because tomorrow I'm gonna be doing a bunch of yard work and laundry and all that stuff, and then Sunday we're playing another game, and then Monday we're back to full time dev work. So usually, I mean, I I do spend ten hours a day. On my computer? It's just not very much in character, right? <laughs> we were just in Armadillo, it felt like, man. Holy mackerel. Your doctors become too violent. Uh, one thing I'll show you guys, though, that I'm working on um, is uh, it's, and it's supposed to be working, but I must have forgot to push it to the live when. Hey, Shaner, when you asked me the other day if there's anything that I have that's not um, ready to go or, or in the thing, there is a thing, actually. I keep forgetting to do it. It's ridiculous, man. Um, in the schoolhouse, there's benches, but you can't sit on these benches. And you can't sit on them because this bench is not a native Red Dead asset. It's actually part of this MLO. And I tried to fix that. I couldn't uh, natively. Um, but I did build a little interior Y map that has little stools on all of these that you can sit on that are invisible. Um, so I want to make it so people can come sit in here and then someone could do like a presentation. I, I think Philipot wants to have like monthly wilderness, wilderness seminars. I think so. Like earlier, we were roaming around on our horse and uh, we came across a little bird and I shot it with a shotgun. And that is Fiddlepot's wilderness tip number 37. If you come across a small bird, do not shoot it with a shotgun. <laughs> it doesn't end well. <laughs> All right, let's get the heck up out of here. Let's get the heck up out of here. We do have another treasure map to run. Actually, before we do that, before we get up out of here, let's open this treasure map now. We're going to run one more treasure map tonight. Let's do a jewelry map. Make sure there's nothing down here, which there is. See, it always happens. I would I would have got out of the desert, and we would have had to come back here. Okay, so nice. Perfect. Everything is super close. We'll actually blow this out, no problem. Right? The heck? I'm just standing there. Kind of weird. He's watching me. Excuse me, sir. Yep, yeah, make sure you go check out the DRB stream team. Over at any of the three links that are now in chat. <laughs> they are amazing stories for sure I appreciate everyone coming all over all those follows as well I up to the channel we're uh we're on our goal way to a thousand followers as we stated trying to get up to that nice milestone there just noticed <laughs> team has over here spam and chat ridiculous Gotta watch the dog. He wants it now, but we're gonna leave him out for a little while. Yep, 
Yeah, we got some buds. Let's give a shout out to Team Matt as well, our stream team lead. Doing a lot of good work over there. Keeping the stream team pumping along. It's great to see. All right, where are we going? Off this way. Last time we streamed Fiddle Pie, it's been a little while because we had a we had a weird couple weeks. IRL. Not weird, just uh it was it was my son's spring break, so he was up. He lives in a different state, so he was up for a week, so we did a lot of stuff together. Um uh we went to a uh a gaming convention and we met Roger Clark. If you didn't just say no freaking way in your mind, then you shouldn't be here in this chat. Um, we also, uh, uh, then, then the following week, I had to drive to a different state to see my daughter's choir concert. So that, so last couple weeks has been a weird stream schedule, actually, because um, some of that stuff fell on there. Jiminy Christmas. Go lay down, punk. Go lay down, punk. All right. Got to be something here. Oh, shit. That's right. The server restarted. We don't got nothing equipped. We don't got nothing equipped right now. Let's get our shit equipped before we run into a fucking wolf pack and fucking die. Right? Alright, what kind of ammo do we have? Uh, we got 13 bullets in that sucker. Great. Oh shit, this thing's like right fucking here. Kind of. You must use your super sensitive hearing and listen very closely. If you calculate the vector of the anomalies, you can find the secret location. It's over here somewhere. Nope, I think we're going the wrong way. Buck nuts, I think we're off a little bit. Let's try this way. Nope, that's definitely the wrong way, Buck nuts. Mark that down, okay? Don't go left. It's gotta be this way somewhere. Over here by these, these cactuses. Or cacti, as they say. Oh, yep, here we are. I'm narrowing it down, Bucknuts. There it is. We found it. The good old treasure of New Austin. Hopefully it's something good. A dirt-covered earring? Why do we always get so much dirty stuff? Bucknuts, it wasn't that great. Don't wait for the next one here. Good horse, didn't go very far. You stayed right there like a good boy. That's a good horse. Did you, what, did you see something you didn't like? Was there a snake over here or something? All right, let's get out of here. Let's see. Where's the next location? Just on the other side of the lake here. Okay. That's easy to get to. We will go uh, this way. Yeah, there we are. That is perfect. <laughs> Um, is that a... No, that's a chimney. Thought that was a random encounter for a second. Fiddlepot loves him some random encounters. I can't believe my daughter hasn't popped in chat or came in here and told me she was, like, making some pizza or something. I was actually going to take some time right now and cook a... Um... A pot pie, but... We'll just wait it out. I'll make a pizza later or something. 
I was hoping there would be more treasure out of New Austin. I don't know why. I always find so much treasure in New Austin. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. Hmm. Horses everywhere. Man, I wish there was a knob for that. It's funny how six months ago we cleaned up the server to make it run better, and now the whole server is just overran by horses because the server's running so much better that the horses just spawn everywhere. Uh, it's ridiculous. I think we've we've looked for this treasure before, right? Pretty sure we have. Buck Dodge, stay right here off the road. You keep a lookout, all right? Let me know if you see any unsavory figures anywhere. Let's see. Nope. Dead in the water. Nothing here. We are not even close. Let me stop this way. Ridiculous. The horses? Well, they are wild horses. They're not much else for them to do, right? Damn. We had something for a second. Totally lost it. Totally lost it. You know, I just see Dakari up there. Is she still streaming up there? On our live channel. Yep, I think that's still Dakari, right? Yeah, she's still live streaming up there. Make sure to check out Dakari over on DRB Stream Team. She's up there on our live channel right now. All right, where the hell is this? Where is this thing? I mean, they're not even they're not even up in the hills, John. They're everywhere doing it. Literally. <laughs> oh shit, we are way off. Where did where did Bucknuts go? He's supposed to stay. Damn it, he's my oh, he's down there. Buck Nuts, keep your head up. I can't see you. Thank you. Hey, Buck Nuts. He's my, he's my anchor of location, right? God damn it. Is it on the other side of the road, maybe? Let's just try. Oh, yeah, it's over here. Buck Nuts, it's over here. We're on the wrong side of the road. I told you it was on this side. You never listened to me, though. You stopped over there. Let's see, it's over here somewhere. If I was a treasure, where would I be? Maybe by this big rock? Nope. I think it's actually closer to the road. Maybe it's in the road. You never know. Oh, yeah, it definitely probably is. Watch out for wagons. I think it's right here in this bush. Yep, there it is, in the bush. In the bush. <laughs> Great, we got it. A bone art pearl necklace. Is that what that was? Or a bracelet? I can't even remember. All right, where are we going now? Let's see. I think we got one up here a little ways, up by uh, the waterfall. Okay. A good spot. Was it a ring? That's what I thought it said, but then I second guessed myself. Yeah, I can't believe we haven't seen any wolves today. I mean, Fiddlepot is like a wolf magnet. I can't believe we haven't seen any at all. It's been quite interesting oh shit there's a goddamn encounter up there you think we can get to that that's gonna be a hard one to get to we'll have to go i mean we'll go for it we'll 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 we'll, we'll take the first road up right up here um and then see if we can get to it so i, I imagine we probably spawn that to be honest 
There's not very many other people right here, right? We should be able to go up right here. If my calculations are correct. Nope. Yep, they are. I knew that. I know where I'm going. I've played this game before. Maybe they don't like salty meat. Yeah. Fiddle pots spent too much in the sea. I actually, no joke, don't know what this one is, to be honest. It looks like it might be some bad guys. Nope. It is a uh, loot spot. Nice. What do we get? We got ourselves a gold bar. Holy shit. Nice. That's awesome. You love to see it. You love to see it. I've seen my share, but I've been hunting up north. Yeah, definitely up north. Usually I get... Usually, last time I was in New Austin, man, we got attacked like five times when we were treasure hunting. Fucking everywhere. Sorry, buddy. Hopefully that smoke's gone for you. Yep, see, I got it. Too late. You're too slow. Ha <laughs> ha! You gotta be a little quicker than that to beat Norman T. Fiddlepot. Wilderness extraordinaire. Now it's dark again. We'll probably get attacked by the wolves. Yep, here it comes, right? <laughs> it's getting dark. Oh! Oh, that, that was me. That was in game. I know it was like uncanny, right? It was like so close. It was like perfect. Oh, that is a possum. A Virginia possum, to be exact. And we are nowhere near Virginia. I should check. Do we have any uh, treasure spots in Mexico? You boys like Mexico? We should put a whole bunch out in Mexico. And then as well make maybe a Mexico map. Would be cool as well. Few coyotes. Usually the wolves aren't around this area. Usually they're like in New Austin. And then... Shit. Way up north, right? There's never any wolves in uh, the Great Plains, right? There are wolves in tall trees, correct? Yeah, a couple spots. But other than that, I don't think they're usually out here at all. All right, Buck, don't you stay right by this tree now? That's gross. The wolves out there too? In the Great Plains? I don't know if I've ever had wolves in the Great Plains before. A lot of coyotes, right? Oh, you might get this one spot on, dude. Man, we are a goddamn professional. I should check my shovel and see how many freaking uses it still has. Some M emmeline coral earrings. Emmeline curl coral earrings. Um, oh, it's got 79% left. All right, we're good. We're good. Nowhere near. Nowhere near broken yet, right? Nowhere near broken. Um, what's next? What's next? What's next? Okay. We're, there may be some wolves out here. There may be some wolves out there. That is a ride in the dark. Let's go for it. Let's 
go for it. Possibly a grizzly or two, actually, right? Possibly a grizzly or two. Actually, that's really close to a grizzly spawn, isn't it? Um, actually, that was like right in the valley, wasn't it? Oh, no, that is the grizzly spawn. <laughs> that literally is the grizzly spawn, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I guess we're riding through Thieves Landing. Okay. The random guy playing a trumpet in Thieves Landing? All right. Thanks for the nice music, sir. Very nice serenade. <laughs> I swear I heard a growl. That was weird. Very weird indeed. Very weird indeed. We're gonna done this map pretty quick. This was a nice, nice collection or nice grouping, right? Very nice grouping down there for that treasure map. <sighs> Maybe we'll do uh, the horse race when we're out there and see if we can beat our record. Weren't we in first place on that one a while back? Ooh, let's get that buck. I want some meat, actually. Where'd it go? I fucking one-shot that? God damn, I'm good at this game. Now... Give me that promise back. I want to fucking skin this buck. I want the meat. I don't know why I haven't been killing any animals and skin them and stuff. I'm out of, like, cooked meat for a quick bite to eat. Perfect. I should just do a bunch of prog hunter hunting on the way. That was a great shot, though. Yeah, let's get these guys as well. Now I'll probably miss all these guys, probably. Right? Shit, where'd he go? Got him. Damn, one shot again? I'm on fire! I'm on frickin' fire, man. I need to drink something. Let's just stop by the river. We'll fill up on... On... Thirst. Thirst. Yeah. Let's focus on that. Let's go down the river real quick. I mean, I knew there was going to be a bunch of camps down here, probably, right? I think one of my characters used... Actually, technically, Fiddlepot used to have a camp down here. It was, like, the first camp ever in the new camping system. But I don't play enough, so I don't keep any of that stuff at all. Because... So Fiddlepot doesn't even have a camp. I technically have a, uh, a place of business. It's pretend, but... Oh, man. What time is it? Ugh. Yeah, we'll probably... We'll probably get up, do this treasure. 
Um, do a, do the race that's up there. Probably call a night. My back's kind of hurting today. I don't know why. You guys slept kind of crooked. So we got like a half an hour or so of the stream. Then we'll be jumping out. We will be back on Sunday, though, as we've stated. We're going to be streaming some American Truck Simulator. Cruising around in our big rig. Driving with a steering wheel. Maybe some other stuff on Sunday as well. Usually Sunday is a pretty long stream. Um, I don't think we're going to jump into Pacific Drive on this Sunday. I'm trying to take a break from that game. <laughs> I want to start a Far Cry 5 playthrough. Um, but I want to... But I want to... Uh, play that for a lot the first time so i think that's gonna be next sunday will probably be a full far cry 5 like six hour stream or something right next sunday because that will allow us to like get fairly fairly into the game right damn strawberry is fucking full of people Guess we didn't have to go through town, right? No convoy tonight? Um, you mean like later tonight? Or like on stream? Yeah, I'm definitely not playing ATS on stream today. But later tonight, Friday night, you know, I can probably pop in a little bit. It'd be nice to make sure that stuff's all set up and works, right? Because I don't know how it even works. Yeah. Yeah, I'll probably pop in and say what's up and we can try to figure out. I want to get a couple buttons set up and stuff. So I'll probably pop in and be doing that. Try to get some buttons and stuff set up for the stream deck. I haven't done any of that yet. So yeah, it'd be awesome if... Uh, we can work on you show me how that all works so can uh get it figured out for sure oh there they are what i tell you Four of them over here hiding in this pack? Jesus, dude. There's some meat for ya. Right? There's some meat for ya. Oh, damn. These ones were all desynced. I thought they weren't attacking. They were all desynced out. Bummer. All right. No worries. Did I just see some... I thought I saw something glowing over there. This was the sunlight. It was the rays from the moonlight. All right, we got one. The other ones were desynced. It did look like they weren't attacking me for some reason, too. I thought they were kind of glitched out. Easy target practice, right? Easy target practice. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting hungry now. I should have got my food schedule figured out a little better earlier. Hopping back out. Have a great rest of your night, Austin and chat. Shader, have a great one, man. Probably chat with you soon.
at some point throughout the next couple days. Uh, as we were stating earlier in the server uh, or the stream um, uh, this year, myself and the dev team were working on a lot of optimization stuff for the server, trying to get it to run a little better, run a little smoother for everybody. So we hope you guys are noticing better better stability and uh, less crashes. Um, we've had a lot of great support from our support staffs as well doing all that, so it's awesome. Again, this is our uh, weekly dev dev stream. If you guys all have any questions, concerns, comments, suggestions about dev-related features in the server, you can always chit-chat and bring them up here. Love talking about all that stuff. Can tell you why something can't happen or tell you why it possibly could happen. You never know. If you beat around tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow, I don't know if I'll... Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to try to be off the computer all day. That's my goal tomorrow. It probably ain't going to happen. Because you know me. But I want to do a lot of housework. I got to mow, gotta mow the front and the backyard. Which means I probably need to go get gas. I got to do a lot of... A lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. But I'll, I'll always only a, a ping away, right? So, no worries there. Um, shit. Do we have any food? Shit, we're not we're not close enough yet. <laughs> yeah, right. You, not get on your computer. Okay. All right. When pigs fly. Um. Hmm. Tony Bun says, "Is there plans for three star pelts to be worth more valuable than one star?" Um. There, there always has been plans for that. Uh. I can be fully transport on transparent on that one we we have tested it out um unfortunately the system that red dead redemption 2 uses for that mechanic it didn't seem very reliable when we were testing it and sometimes it wasn't working right as far as like when you shot stuff like sometimes you could shoot up a three star and it would stay a three star right and sometimes it would work correctly um so yeah in the future definitely we're gonna look we look into that and stuff and do it it will be a lot of fun for sure um because now now we have now we have metadata available so we can make it so we can use the same object the same item in your inventory just have metadata on if it's it was like that because if if uh our old way the inventory worked, we would then have to have to make three inventory items for every one pelt. And we already have over a thousand inventory items that you can have in your inventory. Um, so doing that would create another couple hundred, right? But now with the metadata available for us to kind of like make complicated items, we may be able to look into it a little more um, and get that to work, but we didn't have much luck with the Rockstar like thing working because again, we're, we're running layers, right? So we're just kind of running with what we kind of maybe have the ability to do. I wish we had access to all the like stuff RDO has already scripted up because the scripts are in the game. We just don't have access to that type of stuff to just bounce off of. So we have to use all the little functions to rewrite the whole systems and sometimes they just don't work very well because we don't have the information of how it actually works. 
because there's no documentation for any of this stuff, right? So it gets frustrated sometimes. We, we, we want to make some awesome stuff sometimes, and we just can't get it to work right. And and no one knows why, and there's there's nothing to tell us how it's supposed to work, right? It's a bummer. God damn it, I thought I was getting close to this thing. I need to test something real fast. Give me a second to look at something. Okay, good. I ain't getting the directional pings on this one. As far as it just seems like it's here somewhere. Sometimes a treasure does not want to be found. We just need that one little indicator that we're going in the right direction. Or even that we're going in the completely wrong direction. That is kind of telling us that. Damn, maybe it's like right up here on the side of this hill. All right, I think it's down that hill that way. I think that's what I'm getting with my directions here. It starts to get good over here. Oh, here we go. It was, yeah, I went, I took the wrong turn. Actually, I think I passed it. I think it was on this hill. I just kind of missed it a little bit. It's like right here. There we go. There she is. We got it. I need to eat something. A dirt covered ring. Fantastic. Do I have anything to eat that's not massive? Uh, oh, shit. Where did I get this? Oh, I bought that from fucking Guarma. There we go. That's right. I forgot I bought that meat and those muffins when I got back to civilization. Buck Notch! Where did you go? Buck Notch? There you are. Are you ready to uh, run a race? Come on, let's get down there. Let's go. Let's get down here. Uh, I see a bear, Bucknuts. I got him, Bucknuts. Do not worry. I'm a master hunter. Make sure no one's coming around to tell me, excuse me, could you skin this bear, please? Thank you. Wait for some llama to show up now and tell me to get out of here and stop shooting my gun in the middle of the wilderness. Ridiculous. If you know, you know. If you don't, in. I guess you should have been here. <laughs> Alright, let's check the leaderboard first. Um, oh shit, we're on for, we're, we're there's no need. We are first place. Now, I guess we can give it a shot and try to get 62 seconds. Then we're we're undisputed. First place. Right? Then we're undisputed first place, right? Should 
Should we give Bucknuts a little bit of power? Do I have some? Yep. He shouldn't need this, but it's a race. Right? Oh, shit. I can't do it. I can't do it while I'm... There we go. In that. The buttons overlap. You know, because we have a million buttons for everything. All right, here we go. With all this weight on him. Right? Here we go. It's always like right there to get... Oh, that was... A... Oh, I hit that. That was not good. Maybe I can go this way. I'm trying to figure out what a place to cut a second off is, right? Da, 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 da. Come on, buck nuts. Come on now. You got this. You got this. You got this. Skim by this. Skim by it. Skim by it. Damn it, dude. Someone's got a goddamn camp right in the way. Might have to get out our sketchbook and give that guy a freaking... Uh... Ow, fucking goddamn prog horn. I give that guy a citation. This is not looking good. This is not looking good. Not looking good. It's right here. Damn it. Fuck, dude. Man, dude. That's like... That is the... I think it's the fastest, man. That is literally the fastest. Yep. Goddamn prog horn. Now my thumb hurts. Absolutely ridiculous. Someday, Bucknuts. Someday we will beat your time. We just need to figure out the optimal route. We just need to figure out the optimal route. <laughs> Damn, man. I thought we had it. I always look up and I'm like, oh shit, we got like seven seconds. We're going to do it. And it's always 63.5. 63.5. It always rounds as well. Actually, isn't there a fire right here? Let's cook this meat real quick. Pretty sure this is a crafting fire. If I remember right. Oh, it's a fucking community fire. Seriously, Shader? You made this a community fire as well? God damn it. Duncan has to light his own goddamn fire? Frickin' ridiculous. And he's not even here. He left. Frickin' ridiculous. Guess I guess Fiddlepot being a wilderness expert should probably have enough stuff with him to light a fire, right? Because that is one of the main things you you use while you're in the wilderness, right? Is your fire. I guess we ain't cooking this meat today. I guess we ain't cooking it. That's all right. We're going to cruise over to the dam. We're going to get a good Vista shot and uh, called night, I think. I'm getting hungry now. Duncan went out and took even the embers. Yeah, exactly. Duncan was like, get off my land, you goddamn freeloaders. <laughs> and then he, then he went back in and slammed the door and no one's seen him since. 
Get off my land, you goddamn freeloaders. All right, let's see how good my balance is. Not good. Is it not that one you can... I thought I could sit on that. Huh, that's weird. Do I need to, like, crouch down? Those are on in here, right? Aren't they just, like, game locations? I swear those were on in our server here. Huh. Weird. Oh, there it is. No, that's... Lay down. God damn it! It's probably right fucking there. Fuck it. We're done. This game sucks. Ridiculous. <laughs> All I did was jump off the dam. Freaking ridiculous, man. Damn fiddle pot. Ah. <clears throat> Absolutely ridiculous. The car is still over there. Remember, we will be back on Sunday. We're going to be playing some American Truck Simulator right here. Here's the wheel. See? Of course, it's going to be right here. We'll also be playing some other stuff. That guy just rode by. No one's ever going to know I'm here. We're just going to lay here and die forever. Until we log back in next week. <laughs> same channel, same day. Get down, dork. Get out of here. Uh, so make sure you guys are coming back on Sunday. We're going to be playing some... American Truck Simulator. And probably some other stuff as well. I don't know yet. Uh, I may try some Gran Turismo, but I gotta, I gotta schedule that with my son because if we share a PS5. He might be on it. Probably not though. All right, and then again, make sure to come check out our dev streams on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday all week. Make sure to watch the channel. You can pop in, say hi, even if you want to pop in for five minutes during that entire time to see our game. It'd be much appreciated. So uh, I uh, will see you guys there. Um, if you're watching us over on Twitch right now, make sure to hang out. We'll probably throw a, a raid in. Um, looks like we got, uh, Dakari on the live monitor up there. You can see her right there, so give us a few minutes. I think she's still streaming. I think we're just in an ad break right now. Alright, we'll make sure that that ad break gets over, um, before we, uh, we stream her there. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. We got one more ad. Make sure that ad's out of the way and we'll uh, pop it over there. We'll get that raid going, though. Um, you guys are awesome. Thanks so much for everything you do. Thanks for all the amazing support and all of our projects here on DRB and beyond. Hope to see you on the prairie sometime. But until then, see you later.